All right, well, if everyone is ready, we can start off the game again. Let's do it, guys. Last time, you all accepted a job to go and clear out uh, these vermin that were infesting this mine and clear them out so the mine uh, can begin work again. You had we are your, doing our job very well. You made your way into the mine and began clearing them out. You came across a strange door and we were not able to open it. Traveling further in, you came across... A strange voice that when you investigated turned out to be from two undead creatures that have been long since sealed in this mine. Cheech and Chong. And Chong. Which you promptly named Cheech and Chong. That's right, we did. <laughs> Imagine they have an inordinate amount of ease in their names. They continue to wander about searching for their lost purpose as you all continued in and continue to exterminate the vermin. And I call beast. As we ended, yes. you all heard the mistress yes. call out to go and handle them, my pets, as three albino kobolds with red eyes and elongated fangs stepped out from the tents. And that is where we will pick up now. Bum, bum, bum. Where were we on the turn roll? I have it right here. I just gotta pull it up. Uh, I had just gone. No. We didn't stop at the top. Oh, okay, we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we did. Because oh, okay, I yeah, yeah. just gone. Okay. Oh, wait, I need a second. The music. Yeah, I was super zoomed out at first, and I was like, can't see anything. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh no. <laughs> All right, here we are. So, these kobolds, obeying their mistress's commands, are going to charge out. <gasps> Shit. <laughs> Look at them! Oh. He ran past me. He ran one. past me. I don't know what me, you um... He's still in your range. But he ran past. Like, oh god, he's going after me. It's if he leaves okay. your range that he gets the shit. Get Damn it! So first, the kobolds are going to make attacks against you. Uh, yeah, I see that. Hans. Scheiße. Oh, I, I don't see that. I, part. Yeah, I can't. I can't I see Hans see actually. Yeah, well, they're a bit too far for you guys. Yeah, we have to get closer. Yeah. You guys can't see Hans, can you? No, no. I, I moved no. Allie over to you so I can see your vision too, in case it's ever different. Uh, here, I can do that. Uh, I'll just make it so you can see too, Michael, on hers. That's that's a cool feature to be able to play with. <laughs> uh, actually, I can't do that very well, so. Well, this this works. I'll just stick Allie with her. That's yeah. that 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 works with the plan. That works. With I, I just with that. yeah <laughs> yeah. That's that was the last command I gave her. Was so, stick with <laughs> Hans. The first one attacks you with a twenty, as it bites into your arm. Change. You feel piercing damage as the fang What's taken, that? It hits you for a twenty. What? <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! Yeah, no, not twenty that damage. Like he got that. a twenty to hit. Oh, oh, I was, was like, holy man. shit. So it, his fangs <laughs> dig deep into your arm as you take some piercing damage. But worse than that, you feel like your life as My thing is like... Can... What? Can you hear? My thing I is like glitching out. I'm sorry, issues. like you're all are cutting in real... Yeah, I'm having connection you're issues. Bit, son. Yeah. Do you hear me? <laughs> we can hear you. We can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. Fuck. Okay, yeah. I can now... Hear you guys normally. Cool. Okay, you good now? Cool, 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 cool. Okay. I think so. So here we go again. Third time's the charm. <laughs> the fangs. <laughs> the cobalt goes to bite you, and its fangs dig deep into your arm. You feel the piercing from the teeth, but that hurts some. But worse than that, you feel your life essence itself being eaten away by these fangs as they dig into you. Oh no. What is that noise? I don't know. I think. What noise? That noise. I think it's background on, on Amanda. That's <laughs> okay. Weird. That's okay. it was, you're just in my pocket. Uh, That's why. Oh, shit. Yeah. So Hans is getting bit. Hans, you got bit, and you take six piercing and five necrotic damage. I mean, that's still a lot. <laughs> the other one is going to uh, bite you. With a 23 to hit. Dang! As you These are some hitters. Six points of piercing damage and five points of necrotic damage. Fucking oh Christ! God. 
And finally, That's the one nuts. by Ariel is gonna try to bite. You better miss. Uh, that is an 8 to hit, unfortunately. So it stays. Yeah, you misses. Narrowly pull your arm out of the way. Cobalt tactics only work when there's more than one living cobalt. Yes. <laughs> The sad flaw to the plan. <laughs> Alright, Lazura, uh, you're up. <laughs> who's to say oh, what's man. inside of that tent? Well, didn't we see a cobalt come out of there? You the, do, there's the one, one over here next to Ariel now. Oh, and don't forget, okay. you can speak telepathically Check. to me if you need to. Alright. Because you can see me. Oh my god. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm going to attack. Sure. The one that's near Ariel, and I'm gonna do my sharpshooter. Can't I okay. hear you? Are you sure? Okay. Am uh, I sure about sharpshooter? Yes, I'm just making sure. Real fast, real fast. Sorry. Should I make a concentration, a constitution saving throw because uh, maintain concentration I don't on the spiritual it's concentration, weapon? Concentration, which is so stupid. Spiritual weapon. Concentration. It has to it be. It, ha it has to be concentration. It's stupid, but I don't think it is. Nah, man, you gotta be getting things confused. Hold on, I'm pulling it up, though. Because yeah, I have it pulled up right here. You can't do spiritual weapon and spirit guardians, because that, that would be actually the, the insane true. thing. True, true, that would be messed yeah. up. It does not right. mention that it's concentration. It's not concentration. Really? Yeah, that's why you, it's stupid. It's the most powerful spell that there can get, because they, they don't lose it. <laughs> We're going to the book. Not that I don't believe, but I need to read for my own. Uh... Oh yeah, go for it. <laughs> I'm I'm reading it right now. <laughs> go for it. I pulled it up. Uh, I'll go ahead and roll for your sharpshooter longbow. Yes, longbow. Oh, wait, Amanda, you have dice though. You can technically roll. I know. Yeah. I am going to. I was oh. waiting for everyone. Oh. Sorry. Yeah. Never mind. Then ignore my roll. I my spell list. Ooh, I rolled an 18, and then if you, I don't know, you get to add my dexterity. I think it's plus four. Yep. That's a hit. So the Awesome. And then... So that's a 1d8 plus 14. 1d8. Nice. Plus 14. There we go. And then can I infuse, do the infusion with my little dragon? No, that's cool. Can. I'll go ahead and do that for you. Dang. Way to go. For the I, win. I rolled a 4 for my 1d8. So 4 plus 3 is 7 plus 14 on my brain. 21 yeah, damage. Ooh, cool. You do a massive amount of damage to this cobalt. But he's still standing and looking pretty tough. Um, and then I don't know if I. Do you have a second? Well, so, you want? Oh, I think I Yeah, I'm going to take it. Okay. That's cool. That's really cool. You gotta use your bonus action to keep using it. That's like the balance part of it, I right. guess. But yeah, yeah that's still, cool. Still, that's really good. <laughs> okay, um, so I rolled a 13 plus 4, so 17. 17, I believe that hits. Uh, we'll double check. Yes. So then my 1d8. Ooh, I got a 7! Hey! Yo. 7 plus 14. Jeez, you guys are destroying Yo. Me. This cobalt goes yeah, down. Yeah, we will. Of course we yeah. are. Oh, he's dead now? I mean... Way to go. Holy crap. Over 40 damage to him in a turn. Holy <laughs> oh, crap. Is he dead? That's he's dead? To, yeah. yeah. That's enough to kill most of you guys. Yeah, yeah that's enough to kill me, I think. I think I'm 43. No, I'm 32. Luck is made of... Or so. Seth is made of stone or stuff. And so do I, I still get to move my little dragon? Yeah, you can move him. You can give him an action to do something else. Yes, I would like him to fall. Well, where's... I can't see Han, so I can't have can't him go after Hans. that. I can? You saw him go that way, so you know the basic direction. You can tell him to run that direction. Okay, Don't Google would, anything naughty, if, Michael. <laughs> if Zuko can make it, I would like Zuko to get to Han. Uh, I don't think he can make it, but he can head that way and start making it over. Well, in that case, then I'll have him uh, go to Ariel for right now in case something happens. Right. Um, oh, well. Hmm. And so, Ariel, I'll just tell you that, remember, he can help your attacks. And I'll have him follow you. Yeah. 
So are you going to have him use this action to help her? Like, follow her around and, like, isn't he, if he's within, she can use his reaction? He already used his reaction to boost your attack. He only gets one attack. Oh, that's right. Never mind. He can hang, have him head towards Hans. Hans is going to need him. Okay. Yo, guys, I forget. How do you check distance again? Uh, like when trace. you click up your token, hit left click. Okay. Like, go to pick it up and then uh, right click as you're holding it. Got it. Or there's also a measuring tool on the toolbar on the left. Yeah, I have to use a measuring tool since I'm on a laptop. I use the measuring tool. Not cool. I can have a desktop. You can get a mouse. <laughs> it's not that hard. <laughs> That's true. That is true. I really can. You're right. You're right. <laughs> no, you Man, you're so <laughs> Mouses are a universal thing. People have. I'm on an. I'm on a laptop. <laughs> all right, uh, Ariel. Uh, Lazuri, did you want to move at all? Um, no. See where? Well. Uh, remember, we still have two more to attack. Yeah, I know, and they're over by Han, right? Yeah, you can start heading that way. Yeah, but you don't I'm okay heading that way, but I want to stay at the height advantage and okay. kind of like stay kind of behind the pillars. Okay. At the pillars, the railing. Got it. I'll take Ali with me. Michael. Yeah, that's fine. All right, then. She ain't uh, gonna be doing much. Ariel. You're yeah, right. oh, the pizza man's here. All right. Um. Pizza man's how here. How many? How many feet? Feet to go up the yeah, stairs. Yeah, I know. I'll I'll be right, right, right. How much? Back. move? I'm gonna put it. It means okay. same movement to go up the stairs as it it'll be just going straight there. So if I went up it would be my whole movement? It'd be your normal movement going up. So what? So you have to measure it like normal. But I have but I have any other movement or no? So here. You'd go up yeah. here. You have Yeah, that'd be my movement. whole move. Yeah. Yeah. I have forty. So yeah, that'd be my whole here. You can't hit them with punches, but you could throw darts at them if you want, or throwing knives, if this works for you. Yeah, I'll do a throw, well, yeah, I'll do um, a throwing knife at, I'll do the one nearest me, that one. Yeah, I, hey. like, Amanda, can you stop with the background noise? It's getting a bit much. Okay. Huh? Okay, that's better. <laughs> I think it's better. Ah. You're doing like me. I'm not really doing a whole lot. Uh, it might just be picking up the noise from your pocket or something. Okay, uh, nine misses, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, I figured it would. That's okay. Um, yeah, I can't really do too much else. You have two attacks. Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess I can throw another knife. Might as well. What's what's it gonna cost me, right? Just two knives? That, I believe, is enough to hit. Yeah. Fifteen? Fifteen hits. Fifteen hits, guys! You throw your dagger, dig it back into the back of this cobalt in front of you. And kind of just twist its head around to look at you. And hits Take it. that. I dare you to come closer, man. I dare you. Yes, please do, because then I get opportunity to attack. <laughs> That's right. And I believe as Warcaster, I can cast a spell as an opportunity to attack. Uh, yes, I don't remember if it's a spell level. Or Me, really? You have to check on the specific rulings That's for that cool. one. Let me look it up right Seth, now. Seth, you're up, Seth. Are you back from pizza? Uh, he's getting pizza. Okay. Well, we have time to look at Warcaster then. I remember there was some kind of weird stipulations about it. I think it had to be like single target only or only cantrips or something, something like that. I don't remember what it was. I don't know why mine come up as... You, have advantage, on, you have advantage on okay. constitution saving throws that uh, you make to maintain your concentration on a spell when you take damage. You can perform the somatic components of spells even when you have weapons or a shield in uh, one or both hands. 
And when a hostile's creature movement provokes opportunity attack from you, you can use your reaction to cast a spell at the creature. Rather than making an opportunity attack, and the spell must be casting time of one action and uh, must only target that creature. Okay, so it can't be multi-target. Okay. Okay, so it's a single target. It can't be AoEs or anything. So that means I can use my Guiding Bolt, which I believe I still have some spell slots for. Yeah? Yes, I do. But so I've hardly done any I, first levels. There is one thing I did forget to mention. As you felt your life being drained from them, it did more than just deal damage to you. Your maximum hit points were reduced by the amount of necrotic damage. So in this case, what? your maximum hit points were reduced by 10. Does he get that back after a long rest or no? You believe you'd get that back after a long rest, but that means until this is done, if you heal him back up, you're healed back up to only 24 now. Oh my gosh. Fuck. That's a huge hit. Like a huge, like... You gotta be careful Dude, with don't die. So these are obviously evil creatures. Yes, they are most definitely evil yeah. creatures. Yeah. So radiant damage will probably be better. That's not um, always the case, but you, you, can, oh. you can make that assumption if you want. I wish they were a little bit closer because I would have stunned one for you. Oh god, I just read what I guiding bolts damage is. Yeah, it does some good damage. <laughs> are stupid, man. They're like really good. Four, 46 radiant damage. And the next attack has advantage. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, Nile. Yeah. So if I wanted to activate my tattoos, that takes an action, right? So if I, I do that, then I would action. Use... It's listed as an action. Oh, is it? Let me see. Yeah. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Oh, okay. That was my attempt to help you. But I may have made it confusing instead. Um, oh, I, I get it. I get it. So you put it under the action so I could see it. I know. I, in bonus action, there's activate your Eldritch Claw. As an under action, okay. that's the additional damage you do each time you hit with an attack. If you have it activated. Okay, so it is a bonus. It's a bonus to action. activate it, and then whenever you hit, you do that extra d6 of damage. Okay, cool. I, was I, was just, I just wanted to make sure because it said action type is one action under like the whatever, so I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, that's. My, I was just trying to make it easy to get that damage die there for you. Cool. So put under that category. No, that's perfect. Thank you. No, I like it. Thank you. I just want to make sure. Uh, if you didn't, you didn't use your bonus action last turn. So if you want to retcon it and say you activated it, you can do that. I mean, yeah, if you're gonna allow it, yeah, I'm gonna activate them. Yeah, because that's my confusion that I made it made you think it was an action on the sheet. Yeah, no, it's okay. So Hans, as you see your friend run up and start throwing daggers, sorry, knives at these uh, kobolds, you also look at her and you see her tattoo start to move and shift down her arms to cover her hands. It seems to be coming off her body and shimmering. It almost looks like um, the symbiote from Spider-Man. Like she's got venom <laughs> crawling down her arms. <laughs> Freaking love it. That's a great visual. That's your Phoenix tattoo? Oh, mm -hmm. no, yeah. That's, so, <laughs> that, the Phoenix is on the back, right? So this is, I thought the arm was different, wasn't it? Oh yeah, I got, I got two tattoos technically. So I got the oh, Phoenix shit. and then I got the ones on my hands, but... <laughs> Maybe one day the phoenix will be actually, like, magical, too. That'd be cool. Uh, so, Seth, it's your turn. Such weak servants to have. I'm gonna shake my head, and I'm, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna ram the one that's, uh, furthest away. I'm gonna just gonna hit him with both Elders Blast, this guy. Can you see him? Um, I mean, I have dark vision, so you tell me. I, I can technically move up, and I, I'll move up first, and then do it. I'm just surprised. And, like, if your character can see him on the screen, that they should be able to see him. I just didn't. I can definitely it. see. I can definitely see him. I see because it's it's one guy, then Hans, then one guy, then Le Square, then then Ariel. Dang, how do yeah. you do that? Okay, yeah, go for it. I, I mean, I do. No, <laughs> like you can see, you can see it, but if you hit it over to my live stream yeah. here. I'm, uh, I don't, I don't, I'm so shocked. Like, it should be only 60 feet. I don't know how you can see that. Go, go, Eldris Blast. Oh, you can Freaking see everything insane. on your screen. Something's not right on your screen. 
I mean, I don't, I don't know what to, I don't know what to tell you, but I can definitely see him. I can also move up and see him too. So yeah, that you're would good. Not you're be good. You can move up. Uh, yeah. I gotta exit your live stream now. <laughs> How do I exit uh -huh. that? <laughs> your Eldritch blast is insane, Michael. Freaking insane. I mean, that's like the big thing for Freaking Thank you, thank guy. you. This is this is what, the, what how do you yeah. say it? You call it uh, butter and bread? Uh, so Seth, which one are you aiming for? Are you doing one to each? The, the far, no, no, I'm shooting the guy in the back. Furthest away. Furthest away. Boom, boom, he takes both tentacle hits. <laughs> he's taking some damage, but he's still standing. And, uh, I am curious who would use such creatures to do their bidding. I come down here. I'm sounding really Dracula today. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna walk over here, and that's that's gonna be my turn. Okay. Um, I probably can be over there. So that's video fine. is off. Is not helping at all. Is it? Are you still being weird? Yep. Still being I think it's because my. I think I can hear you guys. It's just really choppy. I think it's because my dad was using the fucking internet all day today. I messed with it. Could be part of it. Well, I hope you can hear this next part because it's gonna be a fun one. Oh God! You all hear a voice call mm -hmm. out. No, you destroyed them all. You've made me fail, my master. You, you will all pay for this. What? And drop Listen, the lady. <laughs> Dropping down from the ceiling above you, Ariel, is a female woman with black hair and ro um, um, not fine clothes that look very old, and she's a pale white face and fangs and dark eyes. Oh no! Oh my! Oh, this is this is not this is not good. We just keep running into more undead guys. Listen, lady, if your entire plan hinged upon a couple kobolds, that was on oh, you. Oh shit! So first, she's gonna try to swing her claw at you. That was my free action talk from our last turn. Yep, you're good. Uh, that is a twenty-one. Mm-hmm. So she swings her arm around you, and instead of dealing damage, she just actually traps you in place, holding and grappling you. Oh fuck! Oh no! That's the worst thing for a monk. <laughs> and then she's gonna bite with her teeth. At oh you. shit! That is a 26 to hit. Jeez, that's good. Yeah, that hits. Everyone oh, getting bitten 20. today. Oh, no. Oh, shit. I was like, how is that possible? <laughs> yeah, that's a natural 20. Okay, so this is going to hurt. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you take eight points of piercing damage as the teeth dig into your neck. Okay. And you take an additional eight points of damage as you feel so your life as it's being drained out. Yep. Oh, my God. I'm down to 10. And your maximum hit points is reduced. No! Excuse me. Is that some of that necrotic damage? Yep, from the necrotic What am I reduced to? Minus eight. Oh, God. I'm not even at much to begin with, guys. Well, only your maximum hit points is reduced, not your current. Right. So I'm 24. So... Gee. I didn't do something. Uh, that is all she can do for her turn. If you want to break the grapple, I believe you can make an acrobatics check to break free. Now? Or on my turn? On your turn, as an action, you can do it. Michael, what are you doing, man? I'll pull it up to be sure. But that's it for her turn. Uh, I believe now it is Hans's turn. Get okay. this bitch off of me! Uh, let me grab some makas. I can't. Uh, I will move Hugo. Hugo will move us uh, to his yeah, to right here. Okay. Bonus action. You move Hugo over as much as you can. I forget that's what you named your spine. And for the main action, uh, I will use my mace. Oh, sorry. And strike this one. Go for it. The Roll one that is already hurt. Roll the hit. Got him. They're a little harder no. than that as this one ducks around your mace. It kind of like gives a weird laugh. 
Can you borrow me? Hold that people. This is probably proving to be tougher than I thought it would be. Is there anything else? Should have done. Well, part of it is that it had really terrible placement in that everyone was on the other side of the map except for Hans. Uh... <clears throat> or were we smart Ow. about it? I was going to say. <laughs> Let's take a look at these health bars here. Hans did and not pay attention to the plan. And <laughs> whose decision seems to be a little bit uh, working out for them. <laughs> okay, um, but I have to be pretty much at close range to do shit. Oh no, no. You oh, I mean, I didn't say anything about that. <laughs> but but you know, I I heard this little tickling voice in the back of my head that was saying something about positioning, and I was like, I don't know. <laughs> all right. Well, that's Hans, unless you want to move all that I can. This is nine. Yeah. Okay. That pizza that's was so good. Mm. At the start of their turn, it looks like the kobold in front of you and behind you, they seem to be getting a little healthier. What? Oh, what? They seem to be regaining some of their strength. Good, thank god I killed one. Seriously? Uh, they're gonna go to attack um, Hans again, I guess? Yep. It just makes sense. And that's an 11? <laughs> oh, thank god. That miss. Uh, second one. That is a 12. They rolled really bad that time. 10, 11, 12, Thanks. 10. Good, thanks, <laughs> That's great. Ollie, what are you uh, doing? <laughs> you fucking dog. Uh, well, that- oh, the one over- oh, that one's dead. Yeah, yeah that's, that's all Thanks I got. <laughs> Azura, what would you like to do? Oh, what can I see? What can I see? Well, technically, I have Michael's view, so I don't know what I originally can see now. <laughs> I've got, I've, I've got you. I've got my squid on you, so you can see everything that we can see. <laughs> do you have dark vision. <laughs> I do. You then you, you should be able to see her. You can see everything. You should be able to see her. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You can see her and the two kobolds. Okay. Oh, um. Oh boy, what am I gonna do? Um. Because I don't know if I want to take the attack the main or if she get rid of the things that can regenerate real quick so we can all focus. I think I'm gonna try to kill the kobolds. We'll kill so we can... all of them. That's fair. Okay. Yeah. That way we can focus on Which her. Which one are you aiming for? They... The one further away uh, or closer? Um. Are any of them damaged? I the didn't one think further so, away right? is damaged. Uh, Oh, let's kill that motherfucker. Okay. I'm gonna Double use my sharpshooter. Sharpshooter, all right, go for it. Mm -hmm. Why not use sharpshooter? <laughs> sharpshooter for well, life. Slightly less better, less chance of hitting, but they have low AC, so I guess it makes sense. <laughs> all right, and... What's that damage? <laughs> Seven. That's all the reason again. you need. All right, you hit it. Okay, and then I get it. My... Wait, what's your roll of 17? Six! I got a six. Six oh, plus 48. 14. That's 20 points of damage. Jeez. I'm dancing. You can't see you it. Should. I'm dancing. He's looking very hurt. That's still and, standing. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to hit him again. Go Another for it. shot. Do it. Okay, I'm just going to say you Finish don't need him. sharpshoot when he's got this low of health. <laughs> I don't? Okay, so I can just do a regular? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Those can damage, though. I know, right? Um, seventeen. He's dead again. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Wonderbar. Ah. All right, I'm gonna stay where I'm at. I don't want to get closer to that mess over there. Danke schön. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna have Zuko continue to move towards everybody, though, to help out. Okay. Uh, where is he at? I gotta find him. He's near so Seth. 40 feet. He's gonna run past Hugo and get just barely past him. So, whenever pretty... Ariel or uh, Hans make a weapon attack, which includes fists for Ariel, he can use his reaction okay. to boost one of their attacks because he was too far to boost yours. Wonderful. That's fine. I want him to help them out. I've done my good deeds for today. Yes, you have. Dang. All right, Ariel. 
Um, I'm gonna try and break out of the grass. Sure, uh, I was gonna pull it up. I totally so forgot. You're... Let me pull it up real quick. Uh... You're saying it's an acrobat? Right, no, like... uh, I'm just trying to find it. Just let me know. That way I know what to roll. I'm sorry. Just... It's being annoying. Grapplers incapacitated. Escaping a grapple. A grapple creature can use this action to escape. To do so, it must succeed on this athletics or in acrobatics. Yep, you can do either one. Uh, well, then I'm going to do acrobat. Go for since, it. Since, you know, I have a plus six. <laughs> Makes sense. You break free. 17? You slip out of its grasp. You look at the movies, you like put your arms up and like whoop! <laughs> go down. Slide right <laughs> up between your arms. Fucking must. <laughs> <laughs> I love that visual. Okay. So. Can I still spend a key point to attack or no? Uh. I gotta read. Probably. Let me can. look. Flurry of Blows is a bonus action. But do you have to attack with your action to do it? I'm reading. Monks are weird. They got all kinds of stuff I don't remember everything for. After you take the attack action on your turn, you can spend a key point to do Flurry of Blows. So unfortunately you can't because you didn't attack. Oh yeah, it's like immediately after you attack, yeah. Sorry. Alright, well then let me whip this bitch away from me. Uh, if you do leave the range, you, you can move because you have movement now. You're not grappled, but you, she would get an opportunity to attack on you. Right, but if I water whip her, then she gets away from me. Oh, you said water whip. I'm sorry. I thought you said run away. Yes, go Yeah, no, no, you're good. You're good. Um, so let away. me do that. So hers would be... She must make a dex saving throw. Let's see and be day 14. That is a 26. Damn it! <laughs> she just rolled two natural 20s. Jeez, that's crazy. What is this bitch on? Like, steroids? <laughs> <laughs> Let me roll another one with her just to make sure. Okay, it's not all natural 20s. <laughs> but, yeah, that one was. <laughs> oh, oh, well. I mean, well, that's pretty much all I can do because I don't want her to get another attack on me. I mean, I guess I could take the chance. Does she take partial damage from your water whip if, she miss if it misses, or...? Is it nothing? Uh, I don't think so. I think it's only if it um, actually attacks. Hold on. Whoa. I can't on a successful save, the creature takes half as much damage. Yeah, but um, yeah. So yeah, I guess she takes half damage. Okay. Um. So roll a punch so, attack, basically. You got it. Let me do it. It's gonna be six plus three. All right. I'm rolling terribly today. I mean, that's not a bad roll. On a d6, oh, you got a 4. 17? No, the other one. Well, the other one isn't important right now. We were just getting the damage that time. All right, so I'm marking the key point that I spent to use that. So I have two more key points. Okay. Is there anything else you want to do? I think you got a movement left. So, question. Does my claw bonus come into effect or no? Do I get to do an extra 1d6 or no? Since that's, I didn't technically uh, attack. It's an attack, not a water weapon. Okay. Alright, that's what I was wondering. Nope, then that's it. Your elemental stuff is a bit different. It's not unarmed strikes. Uh, Seth. Hmm. <clears throat> Gonna bust out the big guns? <laughs> big guns? I always assume uh, Rolex have a big gun ready. <laughs> gun one. I'm gonna shoot the cobalt. I'm gonna just. I'm just gonna straight up just. Uh, let's get that double elder blast in there on that baby. All right, both hit. Uh, clunk clunk. How's he? Gonna know fourteen. He's looking hurt. He's still hanging in there. Hmm. 
These are some hardy kobolds. All right. In the middle, I'm gonna be like, uh, what's the range on this thing? I'm gonna have Ali move up there, <laughs> <All right. laughs> so she could be flanking with uh, <laughs> with Ariel. So does Z Zuko get a help um, stuff out or no? Unfortunately, Zuko's ability to infuse damage only works on weapon attacks. Okay. So if you punched, it could have worked on that. Or if Seth had used like a crossbow or something like that, it would have worked. But both were special abilities, the Water Whip and uh, the Water Blast. So it doesn't work. I'd like to say I think I'm going to name um, Seth's tentacles, Flotsam and Jetsam after the eels from <clears throat> Little Mermaid. <laughs> but, uh, would, um, would Zuko's attack be able to assist with Hugo? And then, uh, uh, it's not a weapon attack. Sorry, Michael, go ahead. All right, all right, and then I'm going to be like, I do have something up my sleeve, and I'm going to kind of shake my sleeve a little bit. And you guys are going to watch as basically this huge tentacle springs oh, out God. from underneath <laughs> my sleeve and makes it the way across. Uh, basically goes all the way across the ground, and you see kind of like springs up uh, right, I'm picking oh, it right here. Yeah. Right next to Ariel, so it's flanking this kobold with Hans, and then it's going to smack that kobold that I hit before. You said right in between Ariel and Dang, man. Yeah, I, I can't, I, I don't know how I can ping this tile for you. I'll do it like this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Basically exactly like that. <clears throat> I heard, I was talking to my... I've uh, seen this book. And it's going to smash the kobold, hopefully. <laughs> go smack. I just give it a before in Japan. Did you roll a die on here? I didn't see it. Ah, uh, no. I'm just looking for what it technically is. Oh, that's a good question. I uh, it's, it just, it's, my me it's my melee spell attack, which is <laughs> that's pretty plus high. eight. <laughs> go! That's, yeah, that oh is. my gosh, way to go. Smash, and uh, that's going to deal a d10 of cold damage. Cold damage, okay. Oh, I'm shoot. Pretty sure. I've been messing up these guys. Right? Yeah. In a good way or a bad way? Nope, that's right. Okay, we're good. It didn't affect anything, really. <clears throat> oh, and uh, I guess instead of flanking, I'm just going to roll a d20 in case I got a crit. Didn't get it. Does that count as flanking? Is it a creature? <laughs> uh, it's, a melee, it's a melee spell attack. It's an object. It's a huge tent. I just summoned a big tentacle. <laughs> it is big. It's ten foot. It's ten feet long. <laughs> it's Masuv. All right. Yeah, it took. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's looking hurt. <laughs> oh, there is many on my sleeve, <laughs> and that's my many, turn. Many tricks. Uh, now it's the vampire. Thanks, Can I have another beer? There should be another one in your fridge. I was about to say, I'm not going all the way. Wait a minute, it's a vampire. It's seasoned with garlic, minced garlic. Yes. Okay. And then that's seasoned with garlic, salt, and pepper. Make sure you mix it up. Okay. Okay. Thank you, baby. Of course. All right. I'm going to go off video. Okay. Fair well, enough. now the mistress is going to turn to Ariel. Oh, I, will drink, I will drink you dry and make you all suffer for this. No one makes me feel my master. You won't eat while you're on video? No, I do eat. I just won't eat. Like, I don't want them to see me. Yeah, that's what I said, while you're on video. Yeah. That's adorable. So, Al uh, Ariel, that is a 22 to grapple mm -hmm. you with his claws. Yep, that worked. Now it's going to try to bite you. God damn it again. It's only on 11. Wait, you it misses. Oh, it misses. Yes. This bitch is gonna get stunned when I get the chance. <laughs> Technically, I think you can attack even if you are grappled. Yeah. You just have disadvantage. Yeah. I think. I have to double check that. I will attempt it. It may be disadvantage to attack anything besides the creature grappling you. Even. Your speed is zero. Uh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> you just can't move, but you can turn around and punch her all you want. Mm. No repercussions at all. Good to know I will do that. Uh, she's just going to sit there holding you, waiting for next turn. 
Hey, look at you next time. It's my shot. <laughs> <laughs> next time. <laughs> Hans, it is your go. <laughs> you seem stressed. I will help you realign your spine till you are dead. And I will uh, have Hugo go and uh, strike her. It's within range. Okay. You float on over yeah, next to her. Go. Roll to attack. Uh, so... God damn it! She's a bit hardier than the uh, kobolds, and unfortunately manages to avoid the skeletal head as it comes down. <sighs> well, since I've done that, that would not count against, say, my guiding bolt. But it's not a spell cast; it's just a continuing effect you have now. So you can still cast the spell as your action. But guiding bolt is a ranged attack, so if you shoot now with an enemy within five feet of you, you do disadvantage on it. Chaser. It just clears your mace to attack the kobold in front of you, right? Yep. Yeah, I I will do that with the uh, the mace. I will attack that motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> I will realign your spine, son of a bitch. No. Well, let me check something here real quick. Roll, roll that advantage, bud. It doesn't matter. Fourteen's enough to hit, but you can roll for advantage if you want to see for that crit. Get that crit. Get it. Oh, yes. I feel like... Also, don't forget about Zuko. Yep, he's going to get the boost. Oh, no. So the 14. <laughs> is, luckily, the 14 is enough. And Zuko is going to breathe out a mist of black. Surround. Wow, six. And then surround six, yeah. your mace yeah. with a black mist as it slams into this cobalt spawn. I will realign your spine. And strike. It looks like the acid is very effective, but it looks like your weapon itself is doing less damage than you would think it would do. Taisa. But it's still standing strong. That's yeah. be the end of my turn. Okay. Start of the Cobalt's turn. Looks like he gets a little healthier again. That's just crazy. <laughs> I mean, you guys are level 5 now. The enemy's got to be a bit tougher now. True. Mm. <laughs> I mean, two of you are in dire straits. The other two are, like, full health. <laughs> I got tickled earlier. <laughs> The one that is uh, one of the ones in Dire Straits just so happens to be the one that can heal, so. Oh, I know, yeah. Oh, yeah. no, I'm drawing squares everywhere. Oh, no, I can't oh, stop. Michael, what have you done? <laughs> I can undo it. You just deleted Allie. I, as, as, <laughs> as I intended, I just threw her in the Pokeball. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, the Cobalt is going to attempt to attack you. No longer with Pack Tactics advantage. <laughs> So only like it's a single that. attack. Uh, 16. That does not hit. <laughs> I blocked him with my shield. Uh, yeah, that's it for his turn. <laughs> Lazura, what would you like to do? Do we still have him in? Or do we... Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. Um... Well, that cobalt no near him is almost dead, so I'm just gonna kill it. Fuck it. All right, roll the hit. Yeah, with how you've been rolling, go for it. <laughs> All right, uh, do I need to do? Would the sharp shooter be beneficial? It's hard to tell. Or it's hard to tell. Then I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it then. Ooh, a 17 Ooh. plus four, so 22. Yeah, that hits. Awesome. Okay. You haven't rolled below a 16 the entire game. Well, I've had 13, and then I get my, like, plus 4 for dexterity, so. Um, and I got a 5 on my 1d8. 
So 5 plus 14, that's 21 points of damage, right? Yeah. Okay. He's looking pretty hurt. Oh. He's still alive, motherfucker. Okay. You noticed that well, I forgot earlier that these arrows are not as effective as uh, <laughs> they normally would be. <laughs> the DM now remembers I, this I ability do know, <laughs> I do know. I do notice this. <laughs> the I'm DM suddenly remembers to... that, that first cobalt should not have been one shot by. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> It was a weakling. <laughs> it was. He was already uh, ill with some undead disease. <laughs> um, all right, well, I'm going to try to finish that guy off. All right, roll that again. Uh, seven plus four, so 12. Unfortunately, that's I think not I enough. That. Yeah, damn it. Okay. That's the downside of using the um, sharpshoot. It is. It is. That's okay. That's okay. I did pretty good damage, though, You still otherwise. have your movement in bonus action. Bonus action, you can make Zuko go up and do something. Yeah, I'm gonna make Zuko attack the, the dying Cobalt. Uh, let's see if you can get there. It's kind of a crowded battlefield now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Get in there. He Maybe is a small tentacles. creature, so he can technically... Move. He can go through legs. He can go through legs. If it was a medium creature, he would not be able to do that. So you guys can't do that stuff, but Zuko luckily is a small. So he can. It's just hard to click on him now because we've got tentacles and everything laid on top of each other. <laughs> Zuko bites with only a nine to hit. Unfortunately, the cobalt managed to pull his leg back. Hey! Damn it! <laughs> Motherfucker. Try. <laughs> uh, Ariel's turn. I'm gonna punch this bitch in the face. Go for it. Mm-hmm. That's the right <laughs> move. <laughs> Alright. Punch away. Nine. That and hits. I'm at a disadvantage, right? Nope. Or no. Grapple just means you can't move. You can still punch away just fine. <laughs> um, yeah, Eight? roll your extra d6 of damage as the tattooed like venom spreads down your arm and punches into her as well. I'll take a three. Ooh. I will take it. All right, and then I get to attack again. You do. So with this attack, could I technically stun her or no? Yeah, you can. If you want to spend a key point oh. to attempt to stun her, you can. Oh my lord. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about stunning strike. <laughs> uh, that's a con save, I think, right? Uh, let me double check what we got. Hold on. That is one of Yeah, her... it is the con. She's a con save. Though. She's not terrible. She rolled a 16. What's your save? Uh, mine's a 14. Unfortunately, she does not stun then. Dang it. That plus three saved her butt. <laughs> punch her again. Hey, you can do it again when you punch her. Yeah. Um, well, I technically can't because that was my second attack. So if I'm punching her again, I have to spend oh. my last keep. I didn't see you punched her twice. Yeah. So the second one did not hit then. 13. Yeah. All right. I and thought you only punched her once. Yeah, I think I think you clicked the button, but you didn't say it, so we were all confused. Oh well, I'm gonna punch her again. Yeah, I, I figured it was just a misclick, to be honest. That's why I was asking you if you wanted. Plus, you have your bonus action to punch. But the no, nah, the flurry of blows is, and uh, I have to spend my last key point. But fuck it, no, I'll no, do you it. You do get one free bonus action punch. Flare of Roses if you want to. Oh. Well, okay. Well, alrighty then. <laughs> yeah, okay then. Unfortunately, that's, that's not one. enough. <laughs> no, dang it. I am sorry. Alright, that's alright. Um, and I don't think I can do anything for a bonus or anything like that. No, bonus was your last punch. That was my bonus, you're right. And you have no movement, so Seth, what would you like to do? First things first, my tentacles are going to slap the shit out of that cobalt. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it slaps the shit out of him. All right. I looked it up. It's a D8 damage, so... Ah. No! 
Oh, wow. no. Is it anything or is it just oh. What? Oh no, it's just one. It's just one. All it's right. <laughs> it looks like the cold is effective oh, though. So so tentacle cold. damage does work effectively against kobolds. <laughs> <laughs> They are weak to hentai. You guys figured it out. I always, I always knew this. I <laughs> slap. Uh, uh, I'm gonna shoot one Eldritch blast. The first Eldritch blast going at the kobold, and uh, uh, if that hits, then I'll hit. Then the second one into the vampire because I got to do it beforehand. Sounds good. If it misses, it's hitting him though. Boom. <laughs> go. Uh, uh, hit. Way to go, man. Force damage, the most thing that almost nothing is resistant to. Blast it's into the cold. The other, it, it, it is the other reason why Warlock, we call it the butter and bread. <laughs> <laughs> the cobalt goes down, and the mistress does not look pleased at all. It's like second tentacle slaps her across the face. Take that, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Like, hey, you guys, just a heads up. I'm helping them move this big-ass giant bean ba bag, so if I'm yeah, like, yeah. not responding right away, it's because I'm using myself and trying to help. Bean bag? Yeah, it's like this giant, like, I don't know. It's, it's a giant sack. It's not like a regular bean bag. It's full of, like, stuffing. It's pretty intense. Huh. Okay. So, All right. uh, I'm just going to be me. Okay, I'll be around, though, so I'll try to answer as I can. Gotcha. Uh, Seth, what would you like to do? Uh, what else would I like to do? Yeah. If you want to move it all. Uh, that was, um... I think that was action, bonus action. If you want to move I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna... Uh, I don't know. I'll come up there. I'll start walking up the steps menacingly <laughs> as I'm shooting. And, uh, I'm gonna say something like, uh... Uh, what, what did she say before? Uh, I don't have to have something good. I was like... And to think one such of yourself could have had such potential. And that'll, that'll be my turn. Okay. Now it is her turn. And you see she gets a little healthier at the start of her turn. Dang it! Hugo will make sure that that does not last. And since you're still grappled and haven't broken away yet, she's immediately going to try to bite you. No. Yeah, that hits. I'm a 16. You take 5 points of piercing damage and 8 points of necrotic damage. 5 and 8? I'm down. You feel uh, a limp in her arms as you're unconscious. No. Ariel! She drops your body. Like yeah, I had 10 left. And she kind of looks around. Looks up at Hans with the dead kobolds around. You are next. Uh, I would like to point out when she looks up at Hans, there's this massive tentacle thing in her way. I just, I want, I need that to be noted. You know what? That is a good point. Let, let me think about this. Uh, she doesn't have to do anything with that information, but it is there. What that affect big. her choices? <laughs> uh, you tell me. Hmm. I'm more than welcome to punch these vampire up close. I'm gonna roll a dice Okay. That's weird. It rolled it twice. Okay. So I roll for random. She's going to turn to the person she's seen do the most damage and jump down the stairs at Seth. At me. Fool. Would Hugo have opportunity attack? He is not a person. He is a spiritual weapon that's up there. Allie gets to attack, though. Allie? Uh. Sure. Allie gets to attack. And for the sake of it, I'll say she uses her grappling tentacles, because that would amuse me immensely. And what about <laughs> Zuko? <laughs> uh, Zuko is not within range, unfortunately. He was attacking the kobold, not her. Go, go, tentacles. Oh. Natural one is not enough, unfortunately. Nope, it is, you know, <laughs> I didn't think it would be for some reason. It's a good attempt, though. Uh, but that's a 24 to hit you. Seth? That will definitely hit me. And instead of dealing damage, she's going to use her claw to grapple you and hold you. Um. Alright. And that is her turn. Hans. I will cast the Guiding Bolt. Okay. 
Uh, wait, Ariel, remind me, what's your max hit points at now? Uh, I'm 24 now. You just lost another 5 on that, so your max is down to 19. Damn, man. Keep in mind, if the max ever hits 0, that's just insta-dead. Uh, yes, that will not be an issue today. Uh, Guiding Bolt, Hans, go ahead. Uh, I will move also first, that's I will move you, here, and I will do Guiding Bolts. Uh, you can't stand on top of the tentacle. Get in there. I will move here. Standing on top of your friend's body as you shoot. Sure. <laughs> I mean, I'm sort of like behind <laughs> where the body is. And I was, I was guiding Volt. And I believe I am doing the sets of level one. Alright. Yeah. It should ask you what level you want to do it. Yeah. Fuck! Unfortunately, the blast goes wide over Seth's head. Hey, friends, Hans, you didn't. Uh, and so with that, I will use Spares the Dying as my bonus action. Oh my god. Thank you. All right, so you don't have to make up. Throws. All right. And that will be the end of my turn. Uh, there are no more kobolds. Lazira. What would you like to do? So what's my hit point at? Am I still at zero or am I at one? You're still at zero, but you don't have to make death saving throws at the start of your turn. Okay. You're stable, you're stable and on the ground. You're not dying. I will attack this bitch. Normal or um, sharpshoot? Am I, is the sharpshoot not so good for this one as well? It's up to you. It just makes it so it's... Basically, it's either you get a plus nine to hit... Or plus four to hit. If you do the plus four to hit, you get the extra damage. But it's less likely to hit. It's up to you and if you think it's worth it or not. It's completely a player choice. I just have to ask each time because it matters before you make the roll. Because after you make the roll, that makes all the difference. I don't know how tough she is to like, get a hit on. You do also know that she seemed to be somewhat resistant to your arrows. Okay. So, I'll just do whatever it takes to attack. Okay. So, so like, get a hit. Alright. So, you want to do a normal shot then? Yeah, I'll just do a normal shot. Alright, I'll handle that too, since it sounds like you're busy. Yeah. Are you doing it twice? Well, the first one hits as a uh, piercing damage pierces into her body. Doing some damage, but not as much as it normally would. I'm assuming you want to do the same thing again? Um, uh, this one is sharp one. Just for sharp shoot this one? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, it came out blank. Oh, there it goes. Uh -oh. Perfect, because that's going to be the easiest way out. That would have been max damage, so but it was only a 9 to hit. Oh, that sucks. She rolled an 8, so it would have been 22 damage, but unfortunately it misses over her head. No. Uh, Ariel, what you say? Oh, you're on Yeah, you got to skip me. <laughs> uh, Seth, what would you like to do? You're grappled in the woman's arms. Ah, you fool. You've only brought me closer. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm... Man. If only I had some cool touch range attacks. I guess I could, but... I mean, you do have those. It's just whether or not you picked them. Oh, I definitely didn't take any of them. Uh, I'm just gonna make this nice and simple. I'm just, I'm just gonna... Uh, I'll just, uh... Fuck it. I'm just gonna cast Lightning Bolt fucking red in her face. <laughs> Like, like on the top of her. Like, Doesn't that go through oh. her and like go past up to everyone else? <laughs> uh, I, I could angle it in such a way that it doesn't actually hit technically. All right, you'll blow into the staircase. Got it. Yeah, cause it, yeah, yeah. You can, you can. I, I, I can technically do it that it's like going off the corner and only hits her partially. So as long as like, I can draw a line, baby. Hans pointing down at Ariel, being like, "It's okay. You're spared." It's a lightning bolt. Surprise <laughs> <laughs> <Bye>, me. <laughs> Kill him but will not take you. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, you can't move stuff, but we can just say you 
you're on a staircase, so you can shoot it basically straight into her. Yeah. The stairs. Um, but yeah, go ahead. Is that a dex save? Oh, no, no, I don't she remember. Just, yeah, she just has to roll a dex save for half. <laughs> she has a uh, proficiency in that, so... That is a 22? Uh, she's, she's grappling me, though. Uh, 22 will definitely save, though. So she manages to squiggle around you as you're shooting the lightning bolt. Squiggle. You're, you're kind of swinging around, fire. shooting behind you to get it into her, and she kind of like shifting too as you're doing it. It's like a weird mambo thing. You're all holding each other. You're trying to shoot a lightning bolt into her. She's trying to make sure she can bite you, but not get shot by a lightning bolt. Yeah, I only, I only, I graze, I graze her cheeks. I, I know how it is. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, fuck. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I, I hit her for eleven damage. You do, only. and it seems to be fully effective. Slam. Nice. And then, uh, so mad. As a bonus action, I'm gonna slurp my tentacles, gonna crawl <laughs> down the stairs, and be, uh, interpose on the other side for that advantage, and it's gonna smash her. I gotta look up these tentacles. Do they really get advantage and stuff like that? That's crazy. Yeah, it's not big. Uh, uh, advantage is just when you have your ally on the other side. I know, but and it's weird that a tentacle out. would count. <laughs> well, I mean, think about it like the spirit weapon gets advantage if it's it on the other side. No, it doesn't. It. Why, why wouldn't it get advantage? Because it's, it's not a creature. It doesn't get advantage or anything else like that. It doesn't get opportunity attacks. Michael, Jesse's ankle hurts because he twisted it. I have a what? bunch of his We may have to pause for a second. <laughs> mm -hmm. You need a minute, Michael? Okay. Nah. Well, let me. I'll just finish my turn. Okay. And then I'll go handle some of that. Roll for time. Uh, <laughs> Schmeck. Uh, I did the wrong thing, but one of them was a 19, so... The 19 hits, for sure. Take it for whatever... It's a D8 damage, I can roll it for you. I already took it out today. Oh, oh my lord. These tentacles are just, like, <laughs> gently smacking people in the face. You keep getting your nat ones on those, man. Well... And then at the, uh... I mean, I could try... I could have tried to escape her grapple instead. And by that, I mean, I could have just escaped the grapple. But I am going to just end my turn anyways, knowing full well I don't care that I'm in her grappling space. I have so much disdain for this uh, vampire creature right now. All right. Yeah. She is immediately going to try to bite into you. Go for it. Uh, As a 14 to hit? Uh, That would actually hit me because I am denied my dex bonus because I am currently grappled. No, um, be dex bonus. Then it would not hit me at all, because I have 15 AC right now. Oh, dang. There you go. What's... I thought your AC was I'm... lower. <laughs> uh, it is lower, but I cast Mage Armor in my in the morning, and then I short rest. I my do not remember that at all, but okay, sure. Yep. <laughs> I mean, that's just a thing my character does, uh, and it was a long time ago in character. Ah, okay. Good to know. Mage armor lasts eight hours, and we short rested, so I can use my last spell slot always to do it too. Oh, I, I got you. I, just, I, did, I do. did not remember. Yeah, that yeah. All. Oh yeah, it's it's the warlock. It's it's the warlock special. You ca you wake up in the morning, you cast mage armor, and then you short rest immediately afterwards. <laughs> uh, that said, I can also take the damage. I don't really mind. No, no, no. I mean, if, I, if you don't, you. If you I just don't yeah. remember. So now she's gonna attempt to gash you with her claws, so she can only bite once. Uh, that is a 18 to hit. Okay. That will indeed hit me. For 11 points of slashing damage. Slashing only? Only slashing. Oh, okay. Well... The fangs seem to be the thing that suck out life. Hmm. Alright, sounds good to me. Alright, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go handle that issue. I'll be yep. back by my turn. Yeah, it's... you're good, man. Mr. Hans. You have a date with Kalimba! And with that, I will cast my Guiding Bolts once again. God right. damn it, I opened the wrong one. And is there a way that I could cast this at 4th level? Even though it's not prepared as a 4th level spell? Oh, you can put whatever level you want into it. It's always prepared as a 1st level spell. You use whatever spell slot you want. 
Uh, I do get first level. It's the third level set I get. Yeah, third level. Uh, you can believe... access third level if you want. Yeah, that's right. I don't have first level spells yet. Please fucking hit. Yes! <laughs> that is it! Oh, my God, man, good. <laughs> You see this bright beam bolt of light slam into this creature that's grappling Seth. She turns around, she looks extra angry at Hans. And with that, I will use my bonus action to get Hugo over there, and he will try to strike. Uh, Where'd he go? There he is. That hits. Hey! <laughs> As Hugo goes and slams down with his crooked smile as he strikes with the purple smoke billowing out of his mouth. So that used one of my Way to go, man. That used one of my third level spells yep. so that means i still have two uh first level spells i'm not tracking this i'm assuming you are i just believe so so i still have a couple of those other weapons as uh, a couple of those other things i can do you've used I've several maybe... but I, I think you can you've got a few left for sure i've been i've been keeping track uh which means that i could still use <laughs> i could use searing smite Oh, that's right. You get attacked. Uh, with guiding bolts, I forgot I have advantage on the next strike. So that means your um, spiritual weapon had advantage. Roll again. So I'm gonna, yeah. Go for that 20. Seriously, get the crit. Ah. Oh, for, for good. Alright, well, it's perfect timing as it's your turn now. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Did he? He didn't make his attack, did he? Who? Me? No. Yeah. Oh, I've, no, I'm I made. Okay. <laughs> I just fucking. I did 26 damage, I think. He's a little bit below half. Good deal. He's like a four. So you I'll look over as Hans is blasting this radiant blast into her back, and the he skeletal head is smashing into her side. As you look onto the stairs, you see her grappling Seth. Tentacles on the other side of this vampire, and then on the staircase next to the dead kobold is Ariel's unconscious body lying there. Oh shit. With blood all over her neck. Okay. Um, Michael's got a thingy where I can't see the battle. Oh. In the way. Oh. Um. I mean, uh, there's not much to see. You're, you can shoot your, uh. Well, I have that touch or heal. Heal wounds or whatever. Uh, I can see how close you can get to her. Let's see. You can't quite get to her. She's about then 44 feet from you right now. Okay, well, um, I will shoot the crazy lady then. Okay. I mean, you got other spells too if you want to use any of those. Well, I've got my fog. And that. And what's my other one? Uh, I can pull it up for you. Let's see, Lazura, mm. spells. Cure wounds, fog cloud, hunter's mark. Uh, mm. Pass that a trace. Cure wounds! <laughs> I can't get to you. I tried to do cure wounds. I'm not close. I can't get you close enough. I know, enough. I know. You're good. Um, this place will after the battle's over. Yeah, well, hunter's mark, right? That puts her at, like, disadvantage and shit. Uh, it just lets you do extra damage. No. Well, then put that damage. on her. Let me do extra damage to her. Sure. You already cast it once this You should uh, always do hunter's mark first. You already oh, um, cast already. it. No, but I'm saying as soon as that one died, you're able to move it. So you can move it just as a bonus action. It doesn't cost you a spell. I will do a bonus action and move it to her then. All right, she's now marked. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot her just regular. All right, regular. Long bow. Here we go. Big money, big money, big money. Twelve plus four, sixteen. Just hits. Oh, thank God. And roll for damage. A four. So four plus, I believe it's four? Plus an extra 1d6. I plus, need an extra 1d6. 
Oh. Yeah. Dope. Okay. Hunter's I Mark is amazing. I loved it when I was my paladin. Yeah. Yeah? Let me get that die out. Okay. Yeah. Oh, a six! Dope! So it's up to 14 points of damage from that single arrow. Nice. Oh, and I'm guessing Zuko's not close enough to me to use his Unfortunately thing. Unfortunately so. not. But you can tell him to move closer as a bonus action. Yeah. So next turn he can do that. Okay. Well, for now, we'll just we'll hit her with that. Um, so hopefully she hurt. And... Actually, you can, so, move, you can move close to yourself if you want to. And then you'd be within 30 feet of Zuko. Let's so, do that. Alright, so, so you have it for the second shot. You're now over here by Allie. Okay. So the next turn, if you want to, you can also Allie. get closer to Ariel. Perfect. Alright. So roll. Do her again. I'm doing just regular. Sure, go for it. Oh, nat 20! Yeah! Get the crit! <laughs> so 24! <Get> <laughs> All right. Yeah, that definitely hits. <laughs> Natural right. twenty always hit. <laughs> and then I rolled. Uh, I just rolled a two on my one d eight. And then. All right. So that's four points of damage plus another four plus the die for the sneak. Um, hunter's mark is also doubled. And I, that one I got a six on. So. So it's twelve points of damage plus eight. Uh, brain fourteen. Um. I gotta read something real quick. Yep. Amanda, did you just kill her? <laughs> the infused damage is also Amazing. doubled. Oh shit, yeah. Is it really? Because it adds damage to the weapon attack. So that, that so that's a 16 there. So Amanda, you did what, like 30? No, no you did 28? That was 20 damage in that one attack. Damn. Because... The arrow was doubled to four damage. Her dex was another four, so it made it up to eight. She rolled a six, which doubled to twelve, so that was a total of. Wait. Okay, let me. So eight plus twelve is twenty. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. So the arrow. And then plus the sixteen. So that's twenty-eight damage. Yeah. You dealt a massive <laughs> amount of damage to this thing, and it's not... And the acid from Zuko's breath seems to be fully effective. Yeah. So now I have to do math in my head to separate the two out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, brain. It's, it's, it's time just to give the calculator. Uh, <laughs> okay, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> she is looking very hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Get her, guys. Seth. So now it's a Seth's turn, but he is the way. Wait for him to come back. That was great. This, that was, that a, was great, a massive great amount of damage. That was good. This bitch has kept us away from Kalimvor for long as enough. I will send her to him. Oh, yeah, she is an yeah. undead, man. Doesn't that, like, irk you? Very much. <laughs> and she's close enough to being dead. I mean, like, like my deal the final blow. I'm, like, freaking dead. <laughs> I'm stable, but I'm dead. <laughs> I will get you. Do not worry. Oh, it's okay. I'm not worried. Thank you so much, by the way, for, for doing that. I thought that he got to use all of the dead. Or, uh, that's a dying, yes. Because normally that's an action, so no one ever uses the spell. But Grave Clerics are special, they can do it as a bonus action. <laughs> Which is very nice. It is nice. I can cure wounds as well, if I'm getting closer well, to you. Well, depending so. on, I say we should take a long rest. Are you guys going to do it in the uh, this... layer of the kobolds? It says it is nighttime. I feel like they're probably all dead. Yeah. At by this the way, time-wise, you guys are looking at about around midnight. Oh. Because you guys yeah. got this there is, when it was dark, is... and then you guys fought outside, took a short rest, and then went into the caves, exploring every nook and cranny, looking for traps, taking your time, and now you fought here. Right. You guys, it's very late. Okay. See, so yeah, I say after this, if we're able to, if we're not in any danger. We take a long rest, so maybe, hopefully, 
um, Nick's in my real HP goes back up because right now I'm looking at 19 for my max. Just so uh, but right panic. now, my max is 24. Just so you guys don't panic right now, for, I'll tell you straight up for this one that yes, uh, your hit points will be restored after a long rest. That is not the case for all things that do these type of effects. Some are only able to restore from like uh, greater restoration or wish spells or other things like that. Sometimes it's permanent. Health reductions. Are you able, uh, as a grave player, to do greater restoration or no? That's a fifth level spell. I've... Damn. I'm just curious for future. Yeah, he will be able I to when he gets not... to the higher level. Yeah, I do not have the greater restoration. That's the same yet. level of magic you guys would need to undo, like, petrification. Yeah. You know, for when you fight that, uh, you know, Medusa later. <laughs> <laughs> Watch a basilisk appear. God. Seriously, no our luck right now? Or my luck? This is the exact kind of area they would be. So, you know, watch yourselves. But we don't know. Well, do we know? I don't know. Do we know what basilisks look like? I don't know. I, I do say, not think that my books would tell me what that looks like. You probably would, as they would be an exotic animal that might have gone through the circus. You, I'd let you make a history check on that. <laughs> Um, Lazura would know it as a ranger in her background. Um, <laughs> Seth That's and uh, Hans, it'd be up in the air. But let's see if that's my is that the books have taught me anything. How much biology of creatures and things did you study? Not much. Not much. Nope. You've seen all kinds of weird animals today. <laughs> Flying squids. <laughs> Calico dragons that look cross between a dragon and giant a cat. Tentacle. <laughs> giant tiny tentacles, which I have to double check because I'm pretty sure Michael's mistaken in that it doesn't get advantage or use flanking or anything else. It should be just like the spiritual weapon where it's just there. Hello. Uh, yo, oh, I think yo. I'm back. Oh no, what's going down here? It is your turn. It's my turn. Oh yeah. my, she looks. Is she She's pro? She's nearly dead, man. Also, Michael, nearly can you, dead. Uh, move that screen so uh, Amanda can see. What screen? Oh, yeah. the the yeah yeah my my character <laughs> sheet. She's been enjoying yeah. about your uh, stuff for a while. <laughs> well, I didn't think about that before I left, to be honest. But I I should have. I've been I've been I've been popping it up and out, which is why I keep seeing him in this character versus the dice screen. Um. Oh man, am I still grappled? You are still grappled. <laughs> I did cast, uh, I, just, I cast, uh, uh, Guiding Bolt as a fourth level, or a third level spell and did a fuck ton of damage, and then, uh, Lazura did a fuck tons of damage as well. Mm -hmm. What does Guiding Bolt, does Guiding Bolt give anything? Gives advantage to the next uh, attack, which is already used. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna... Oh man, how can I Eldritch Blast with disadvantage, eh? I mean, just click it twice. It already does two times. Oh my oh god, my what god. happened? Oh god! <laughs> Michael, what, what have you done? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Nothing I meant to do. It just rolled it... fours. <laughs> <laughs> Why did it roll so oh, many? Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? It did so many, it deleted the rest of the chat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got this. I got this. Uh, here, I'll do it for you. That's the first one with disadvantage. That's a scary <laughs> Can you guys see it? Hold yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, I can. Okay, disadvantage. That's a 12 to hit. That misses, unfortunately. The second one with disadvantage. Oh god, Michael. Oh god, oh, what no. the hell? <laughs> Man, what are you doing? Michael, what have you done? <laughs> Bring the nat 20s in there. Is something on your keyboard? <laughs> okay, uh, I'm just gonna take a look at it again because I can't find where. Oh, it's the very first one that he rolled was uh, nat 20, I think. I think there's a few in there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just gonna uh, yeah, click it one I'm more looking time. Back. <laughs> I'm looking I back to this. Here we go, one I more time. No. I am muted. Yeah. There we go, 15. That's weird. How did I get muted? Now, did you answer my question? 
What question? What question? Uh, the disadvantage? Uh, like from being within range? Yeah, you disadvantage. How the fuck, how the fuck did I get muted? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. We don't know. Yeah, the same time. We need Let me, like... hold on. <laughs> I'm going to restart this internet tab. Alright, it was the same time around that yeah, like they it. outputted it. like a million Eldritch Blasts. <laughs> yeah. so, Along with a million D4s. <laughs> so, have... your second blast hits, Michael. <laughs> Yay. I don't... Should I roll fresh for damage? Uh, I'm scared, but yes. <laughs> I mean, I, I, just, I, just, I just... I'm loading back in. I gotta, I gotta do something. <laughs> Uh, yes. Roll for damage. <laughs> I'm waiting for the chat to explode again. <laughs> Seriously. I think it's a D10 plus a bunch of stuff for him. That's weird. I wonder why it's doing that. D10 plus 5 for him. I don't know. I think it's something on the actual... Thing for him. That's why he got muted, and uh, it did all that. I'm guessing it was a computer glitch or something. No, that's no, I'm to have a conversation with me. Oh no, we meant the whole, you know, out outputting a million out Oh yeah, and I have him. no idea. I have no idea what that's about. <laughs> anyway, let's find out. One D10 plus charisma. <laughs> hey, yeah, there's normal. There. Yeah. That was weird. Hey, and it's a natural. It's a like ten. That's right. that's. 15 damage. She is on the verge of six, it. Six, 16 damage, actually, plus one from the staff. I forgot. Yep. Um, I'm just going to say, for the narrative's sake, that she's. Let's go. On of her you. last leg. She lets go of you. And she pushes you off. Pulls out a stick. And says, I offer myself willingly to you, Master. Accept my sacrifice. And stabs it through her heart. As she turns oh, to dust shit. and falls to the ground. What? Kalimba. Okay. Saisa. This is. And you look over to the side and you see the albino cobalt are also all turning to dust. Uh, I'm gonna. I don't see the feature in the albinos. Out of game. Because I don't know. I'm gonna whistle. Like in game. I can't whistle very well in real life, though. Yeah, no. Please don't, because everyone's dogs are going to go nuts. <laughs> That's the secret plan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm like, such dedication. I'm going to look oh, really surprised. Uh, she. Hold on, oh, I we're out of combat. You guys can do whatever you want now. I will uh, cast... Uh, I will cast... Uh, Kia Vones. I'll take it. I'll take the four. I'll take anything. That is a really bad roll, jeez. Why <laughs> did it not roll better? What the fuck? <laughs> but you know what? It's enough to get her up. And now you guys can rest and uh, walk around. Yeah. I, I'm, uh, I thank you. I'm... So yeah, you guys can explore the room, take a short oh, rest, take a long rest. Back. It's up to you guys. I'm gonna I will do. I will do Vanma uh, kill wounds on her as well. Just two heals her as a Tohaya. Sure. Just in case some shit's happen. I'm gonna get up and be like, what the fuck just happened, guys? <laughs> By the way, I am very pissed off that I did not kill her and sent her to kill him for myself. You did get the other Kobolds. Oh. Uh, I didn't really get some. I thought you killed did we Kobolds. win? I didn't kill any of them. Did we kill them? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tug on my sleeve, and, and the tentacle's gonna just slide back up my sleeve, and I'm gonna pat it, <laughs> and it's gonna look, and it's gonna, you're gonna look like nothing's there at all. <laughs> <clears throat> and I'm, I'm gonna step over her ashes. Actually, I'm gonna collect her ashes if I may. Sure. I want to see if her body, there is her clothing and everything she was wearing also turns to dust. All that's left there is the stake. She. Uh. Take it. We might need it when we run into I, if we run into others. I I, I, I um I suppose I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll pick it up. Okay. 
I will um I will start going through these uh tents and see if there's any loot. Starting with the top of the tent. Yeah, I'm gonna go through the, the dead bodies of cobalt. I'm gonna go through the top tent. Okay. The top tent and the cobalt bodies, you guys start looting and looking around. And I'll, I'll I roll investigation. Looting and looking at the bottom tent. The Here's bottom your tent. Vampire, yeah, lady, ashes. Okay. Uh, is it an investigation roll? Uh, yeah, if you're trying to loot bodies and stuff. I got a one. I rolled I an 18, today. but I don't, I don't remember what my investigation thing 18 is. 18 is think it's probably good by itself, but I will pull up investigation. You have a plus one. So you have 19 total. That's what I thought. Okay. Uh, Why the game. fuck am I rolling so goddamn low? God damn it. Dude, me too. You find Isa. a few jade statues, some assorted gems of different sizes, a few pieces of gold and silver. Um, totaling, it looks to be about, including the gems and things like that, to be about 20 gold and 80 silver worth between all the kobolds you're searching. Me or Lazura? Uh, together. Oh, okay. Who's holding What's on? about me? Uh, in the tent, uh, you don't find much in there. You find a very posh sleeping space with a coffin. Oh, was it hers? It might have oh, been. this seems very nice. Hey, Amanda, do you want me to put the uh, gold in my uh, equipment right now since you're not at a computer? Yeah, that's that's fine. Okay, so it's 20 gold? Uh, I'll pull it up again based on that roll. 20 gold and 83 silver. I'm going to roll to Allie. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to nuzzle her a little bit. I'm going to be like, and I'm going to point her at the tent and be like, see if you can find anything, dear. Uh, which tent? That tent. This one over here. Okay. Uh, she goes. And... <coughs> Sorry. Um, she You're looks... right. She You're looks... good, man. She looks around inside. Uh, it's just a few tables. It looks like the kobolds can eat at, um, and another sleeping space or two. It looks like just for maybe one of the higher up kobolds, and some knickknacks and things that it looks like the kobolds were collecting or took off of bodies and things. You're not sure if they'd be any value or not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am. Uh, I will say that uh, this will be my sleeping quarters. I'm gonna jump on this hammock and be like, "Ooh, this is nice." <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go in a, in a tent and sleep well. The coffin is. It brings me closer with Kalimvo. Lazira, which um, where were you searching exactly again? I was searching the lower tent and those dead bodies down there. Oh, so the same place Seth was, and the ones the bodies down there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me check something. Okay. Then you also would have found. Do you see? I mean, I guess I don't. What? Oh, go. Oh, I was gonna say. You go. When you're searching the robes of this caster, Cobalt, that was calling out for the mistress, you find a strange wand with intricate carvings Ooh. on it. Ooh. A wand, you say? A wand. Uh, do I have detect magic? Please tell me I have that one uh, equipped. You have to tell me, Chief. Sisa, I do not. Huh? Oh, Zara would have to say she had it. Anyway. I, say, yeah. I mean, I'm, that's true. I'll just like mention that I found this wand here. Does anyone want to check it out? Tomorrow oh. I will. Wand. Um, before I take my rest, I uh, didn't I will you check it out tomorrow. Have this amulet? Wasn't this what you were intrigued about? I forgot about that. From the dead people? Oh, I had quite forgotten. Uh, it looks so. It looks so pretty on you. <laughs> okay. I mean, I can. What is it? A teleporting amulet? That's no all idea. you saw him do with it. You don't know much beyond that. Can I? Is there it's a way that I can like with... tune to it or whatever to learn? Um, basically, if you spend an hour playing with it and feeling the magic and everything, you would get the majority of what it could do. You would need a full right. um identifier like to figure out exactly. 
Um, then I, I got stuck a- an hour before going oh, to bed. Wait, figure puns. What did you say? I can do that tomorrow. Oh. oh. But just Point. so you guys have an idea of what it looks like. It's a metal chain. And on the end of it is an obsidian, a solid piece of obsidian that someone hand carved, it looks like, into a, a shape wow. of a screaming humanoid skull with two ruby eyes and emerald teeth. Wow. That's dope. Looks like you would like this, Hans. <laughs> this is very pretty. Um, are we taking shifts tonight, guys? I will take I first. Good, I will yeah. take first shift. Okay. I have to check something real quick. Okay. Was that Michael saying that, or is that Seth saying that? No, no it uh, <laughs> could be both, really. I'm gonna, I'm gonna gesture Allie over, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean into her. I'm gonna go, Ali. I forget. Do you need to sleep? As long as it serves the great tentacle. <laughs> 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 I always forget. <laughs> oh, for the great tentacle. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my, my intense sigil <laughs> sign, and I'm gonna turn back to the group, and I'm gonna be like, Ali has no need for sleep. She can keep watch for us all night if we were uh, so inclined. Speaking of yeah. which, Zuko turns sea lizard up. Mistress, my time is almost up. I will have to disappear soon. Well, we gotta do a long rest, buddy, so rest well. I wish you all well, then. He jumps into your arms, and he poofs into the pile of scales in your hands. Alright. Bye, Zuko. So I'm being a little flexible with Zuko's time limit, just because I know you guys want to help him out. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to bed anyway. Well, no, like, you guys had him out for a lot longer than he should have been. <laughs> oh, that's... I started the timeline basically when he is actually doing relevant things. <laughs> there we go. I, I, he's always cr- crowding around. Well, he lasts three yeah, He's like Pikachu. None of them are until needed. Right. That's it. Uh, is there anything else you guys want to look at? You want to do anything else before you try to go to sleep? What is the plan? Uh, I want to play around with this wand. Okay, you guys want to spend? Uh, I'm gonna stay up for one hour before sleeping to get used to like examine the the amulet. Okay, I'm going to. That way you don't have these doors that we came through. Which doors? Because there's the Uh, whole room is full of different doors. By the way, I'm gonna just close the doors we came through. Those doors Uh, are open. Yeah. Yeah, you can. I'm going to close. I'm going to close them. That way, anyone coming into the room has to open the door. Seth, what's your passive perception? Uh, uh, 12, I believe. 12. Yes. Okay, let me roll something real quick. Yeah, they're pretty loud. You hear noise coming behind this door over here. That door? Yep. I didn't even notice that door. Like there, <laughs> oh, I didn't there are doors all around this area, by the way. There's one over here, one over here, and one over here. Oh god, okay. Maybe I shouldn't go to bed yet. Like uh, uh, I don't know. I think we kinda need a rest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna push these I'm gonna push this thing into so, Seth, when you get that you notice that on the floor are the metal doors that look like they originally belong to the room. And in its place oh. is a large wooden door. That's oh, like half hinged that placed up there. Shit, I wish I... Uh... Do you need help? So I'm definitely still up. Do you need help lifting the door, the metal door? No, uh... they're not blocking the room at all. It looks like the kobolds, they found this room Ripped with a metal off. door that broke off, and they replaced it with a ramshackled wooden thing that they slid... Yeah, in but like maybe way. we can use the metal door as like... A... Barricade of sorts. I see. My mistake. Go ahead. I do not yeah. have... No, no, it's okay. There is a magical way of going about this, but I do not have that spell. <laughs> uh, I'll just kind of... Yeah, if you want to come help me, I, I, I don't know. You, you look beat the fuck up still, right? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm hurt. You look okay? I'm hurt. 
I will I'm also uh, I will also help out. Okay. Actually, uh, if before we close this one door, uh, if I could take a peek in through the room. Sure. You don't see anything. Uh, should I roll perception? Uh, actually, I gotta roll to see where people are. <laughs> You know, those wandering guys, I don't know where the fuck they're going. Nope, yep, you don't hear nothing. <laughs> it's eerily quiet. Of course it is. But walking by, you did hear the I'll take noise it coming from uh, the room that Seth pointed out. And actually... You would have heard a similar noise coming from the other set of doors over here. When you walked past him. Oh, oh, shit. Do we know what they're saying? Like, what do we... Is it, like, shuffling, or is it words? It sounds like shuffling and movement. That's it. Maybe more undead? There, there are many rats behind these walls. Uh, well, I'm still gonna barricade the door. <laughs> I will give yeah. I will give uh, assistance with that. Should we barricade both doors, guys? You guys can also peek through. Uh, I will. I'm not peeking. Through. Guys, I have brilliant idea. I am not good with stealth, so yeah. I will not peek through. Did we come into this room up here, Nile, or do no, I just have to? You did not go over there at all. Thing. You can see through a crack in that door. So it's not fully closed. Oh. Well, because of the idea I came up with, I thought we had been in there. You've not been uh, in that room, but it, it, that door is not fully closed. Uh, I am going to investigate the mystery door, and I'm going to open the door. You go inside, and it seems to be a workshop of some kind. Oh, oh sheep. And you see, in, over in the corner, there is a tank of green fluid that seems to be shifting slightly among other things in the room. It's, it looks almost like green slime. <laughs> Oh, imagine that. Alright. Seth, Seth like is in a super... cobalt invention room. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna just I'm gonna put my finger into the mixture. It starts to burn. <laughs> ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you wanna Nothing. investigate the room you can. Uh Uh, after I burn myself, I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna throw open the door completely, and I'm gonna say out to, out to my party, I would be like, "I found their playroom," <laughs> and I'm gonna go back inside in case I anyone wants to join me. If we wanted to, but what? I mean, my thought when I saw this room <laughs> was that if we're worried about barricading ourselves, this room only has one door. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I was like, if we wanted to, we could sleep. We could bring that. We can drag know. that tent. We. I don't. I don't have a tent, but there's a tent there <laughs> that we could bring into there. That's true. We can just fold it down and. Yeah, bring it in there and camp. Camp and camp behind the one door for that concerned about the 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 doors. I'm probably sleeping. We. I don't mind sleeping in the big room either. To be honest with you, I, 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 my I character is very disdain. I'm happy. very disdainful of kobolds. Uh. I just want to sleep since the coffin. That's more than I. I get that. Yeah, your but, choice, man. I feel yeah. closer with Kalimbo this way. I'm gonna keep investigating the room. Is that um, that one to come? I I so are we barricading the store? Or are we looking in first? Uh, the door I'm behind. You, you no, the the door I'm at. They heard. I think that. Me. I think that that decision lies in the hands of the person who's over there by themselves not, with that door. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not touching it. All right, anyone who wants to investigate anything else, go ahead and roll it. It sounds like Seth and Hans are over Maybe in the out. morning I'll yeah, feel better. What are, we, what are we looking at right here? Now, That's fair enough. Uh, go and investigate, and I'll tell you what all you can find, but it looks like a bunch of tools and things like that used to make their different inventions. Oh, I didn't mean to send that just to you, but that's hilarious. Yeah, you don't find much. <laughs> uh, 
These people, these, these, these things could never come up with anything useful. I'm gonna say as I'm walking, running my hands along everything on the table. You guys are touching everything, moving stuff around. You accidentally um, hit, hit a box that opens a cage, and a skunk goes running out of the room like crazy. Oh um, my god! You guys can't find much else useful. It's weird. You think there'd be some uh, cool stuff? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. With it being such a big room, yeah. Hmm. 100% would have thought that. And I did not roll well either. I like rolled like a 7, so sorry guys. How heavy I'm is this? My How heavy is, does this bucket look? Which bucket? The one with all the, the bucket filled with the goo. Yeah. It doesn't look movable. It looks like a giant cauldron. Do we have like a, a jar or anything that we could put it in or is there a glass container on the table you can put it in? Uh, I don't know if this would work, but if I cast Mage Hand, <laughs> and can I cup some of it? Um, I gotta read Mage Hand. <laughs> Mage Hand is one of those fun spells. You do all kinds of I, weird I stuff. I mean, that's that's why I have it. Because <laughs> can, can it take damage? Does it die? <laughs> I really you wish that your call. Cleric had Mage Hand. Mage Hand's a good one. Technically, it doesn't take damage or anything. Uh, yeah, I, I, you can scoop out a small handful of uh, this green slime. It's difficult right. to afford to pull it away as it seems to be pulling, sticking to itself. Interesting. I, I didn't really have a plan with it from here. It only lasts for a minute, but that's that's fun to do. <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna you, I'm, I. Uh, I think this would be a funny idea. And then I'm going to use the mage hand. I'm going to start splashing acid on their workshop. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to, I'm going to get, I'm going to get the light from destroying their stuff in this way. Yeah. Just for shits and giggles. Let me see. If oh. it. It's worthless. Uh, when he starts doing this, I will have uh, already gotten bored and started to walk out. Okay. Right. So, I'm going to do that for a bit. Seth. Uh, yeah. Doing this, slinging it around. Oh, no. <laughs> good news, bad news. Always, always good news. Uh, as you're flinging it around, you hit a shelf on the wall. Nice. And a bottle wow. falls off the shelf. Oh, shit. There are multiple bottles on the shelf. Actually, two. So one falls, the other one's still up there. Oh, man. Let me read exactly what happens when it falls. No. Oh no, it explodes. Uh, why can't I find you? Take the other bottle, though. I'm it's definitely good. gonna... It's good news, bad news. Good. You know, he found something, and he, he blew something else up. I mean, I didn't find anything the first time, so this, this, this is a straight win in my book. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see what happens when this thing falls, though. <laughs> I'm ready. Well, I mean, we are taking a long rest afterwards. <laughs> and you got most of your health, so if anyone's so going to do this, you're the right man for the job. Thank mm -hmm. you. I'm, I'm ready for this. Also, I have... I guess I do. Uh, it hits the ground, and he erupts into flames. Um, I need you to make a deck saving throw. <laughs> I yump. I'll... Did you yump? You narrowly avoid the splash of liquid as it goes out and catches on fire. Ah. Oh. Is that it? Yeah, I, that's I, it. I, I, I lost the fire? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've just like, lived this really big drama in I mean, the room by myself. It's burning over there in the corner. I'm like, like you're oof, not on fire. Wow. I'm gonna just I have gingerly, to eat right back. I'm going to gingerly walk over there, and there's one potion on the wall, right? Yeah, another bottle on that same shelf that they, that one fell from. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do this right, and I'm gonna <laughs> cast Mage Hand, and I'm gonna grab it with Mage Hand and deliver it to myself. No chance of dropping it. Question: like Are you just yeah. moving the slime-covered Mage Hand to do this, or are you dismissing that one and making a new one? No, I mean, well, you know, let's see how bright we're feeling today, because you know, it's one of these, <laughs> one of those kind of days. Because this all started with you flinging slime with your Mage Hand. <laughs> uh, well. I, I think I would probably recognize it, but I'm gonna do something slightly different. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just float it over there with the the thing on there, and I'm gonna be like, hmm, 
maybe that's a bad idea, and then I'm gonna spill it. And I, can I roll a d20 to see if I can dodge out of the way of my own spilling it before I get to the hand? Are you purposely yeah. spilling this liquid out? Uh, I'm gonna be spilling it out with intention while it's moving, and since I'm in the location, I'd like to roll a dex save to see if I dodge. Uh, so, okay. Yes. The mage hand I... grab the bottle, and you're intentionally trying to pour it across the room? No, that's, no, but that would be great if I was actually doing that. We can, I, we're fine. I, I could just do a fresh mage hand and bring it my way. Okay. That, that, that'll be sure the meant, let's, I'm... let's just do it that way instead of the other way. All right. I would have failed though. Ha. We're good. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. You can add a bottle of alchemist fire to your inventory. Neat. I'll be like, I have no idea what this oh, is. Oh man, I'm fucking jealous. I don't know I what mean, this is. So he I'm also wait, I'm taking a, a lot of fire damage. <laughs> I might give this to you too. <laughs> I I am not big on fire. It is fine. But not as delightful as ice. Uh, but yeah, basically uh, investigation rolls. That's all you could find, unless there's something else you want to try and do. Which feels I'll great. Just... <laughs> I mean, I don't know. what. I... Is there anything else I've... I... I mean, I have a poor investigation check. Is there anything else I see of interest? It could be of um, a in any way. There's a lot of like, on the... things on the one wall. Uh, some weird wooden pieces. Um, some tools. It looks like they're using to craft different things of wood. Um, some partially put together cages, things like that. If if there's any tools that look good, I'll, I'll, I'll pocket them. I'll be like, I can. I they're can all give cobalt these out. level. I mean, I'll take. <laughs> so maybe right. I'll take a knife. They got that's. They got that's limited use decent. tools. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll take a cobalt knife to give away, and I'll I'll give it away to some kid and give him a big story about it all at right. some point. Cobalt knife, got it. <laughs> yeah. Not a... All right. Uh, and, and that's it. I'll leave with that. Is there anything else anyone wants to do? No, I'm no tired. I've everything I want to go oh. and sleep inside of the coffin. Okay. Hans wants to sleep in the coffin. Uh, what about everyone else? And you said that... I'm in the hammock. You said it was very posh and, like, comfy... I want to take anything that looks comfy and put it inside of the coffin. Oh, the coffin itself because... is very posh. It has a blanket in there, some lining to make it cushioned. <coughs> oh, wunderbar, wunderbar. <laughs> it's a bit okay. snug and not meant for a tail. But, you know, it's better than I've what wrapped for a the while. Tail up. Okay, so is everyone just going to sleep in different places around the room, or what's the plan? I mean, I, we should probably all sleep together. Sleep in the tent. We got tents. Right. We got a hammock. We got another tent. Well, what is this over here? Oh, all that's right. the coffin up there where Hans is. There, it's another tent. Yeah. Can I take the, the hammock inside. and put it in the tent? Uh, you'd have to find some distraction. Am I able too. to do it? All right. Was, I mean, you could put, like, eh, it'd be hard to do that. I just want to say that when is I hit, right? when I lay down, I am out. Okay, Hans passes out into the tent over there. <laughs> Just dunk. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm staying in the in the hammock. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna rest. All right, you gonna join the? Where tent? are you resting? Yeah, I'll uh, join the tent. All right, you head over to the tent. Uh, Allie, keep in watch. I'm guessing. Yeah, she's she's gonna go in a circle around the chamber. Give me that perception On check. Here we go. This is where this is why this is gonna be this great. Is why you did the, this is why you did the character sheet for make it easy for me. Uh, beep. She has dark vision in case that's relevant. Okay. Yeah. Um, she's actually. <laughs> what um command are you giving her to do if she sees anything or anything like that? Uh, probably this screech mentally in my mind something like. No, I mean, it'll probably be more gentle than a screech, realistically. <laughs> but, but basically, I want her to, like, like command, uh, wake me up in whatever way she deems would work. Okay. So you, I'll leave that up to you, bud. Okay. <laughs> then, in that case, you guys all fall asleep. The night goes on. At some point, the fire dies down to almost nothing. Even with dark vision, it's difficult oh, good. for Allie to see. But at some point, Seth, you do get a message in your head. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna wake up. Oh. Oh, man, I was dreaming of... I was dreaming of young pastors. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand up. And you hear uh, two voices. I told you okay. it wasn't this way. Come on. Oh, come God. On. Cheech and Chong. God damn it. It's this way then. Oh man, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk out. I'm gonna walk I'm gonna walk out. Are they are they walking your Oh no 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 okay okay they just peeked in the like, door walk... and looked in and went, Oh this isn't it <laughs> Okay I, I, Oh man, okay, I'm gonna go back to bed. If they were gonna be stomping around I'd I I have to go give and tell them to be quiet because everyone's sleeping. Um Other than that, the night goes by uneventful. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass. <laughs> All right, new spells. Hell yeah! Yeah, everyone take a long rest. You get half your hit die back that you spent. Nice. We're back to full. Um, yeah, I didn't spend any. Okay. So I'm back at 34 health. I did. Yeah, your hit points are also back to restored. Perfect. Um, All right. Well, yeah, it already reset my uh my die. Okay, cool. 34 and 34 for Hans. <clears throat> Ariel, what's your max? 32 health? for me. 32, 32. All right, you're set. 32. And no one else had their max hit points reduced, so everyone else should be good. Zero respect to her. And then I'm going to make sure my key. Yep, all right. All right, I will grab this. Um, you guys wake up to a pitch black problem. room. You can't see anything. Even with dark vision, without no, any she... source of light at all, you can't see anything. Uh, uh, I will cast yeah, I'm going to wait to be okay. like, guys. Are you still there? The poor human in the dark. I will, I will cast light. Why, why as, did as, you like, sleep uh, rock. there? <laughs> oh, man. Ariel, you see a faint uh, light coming from the tent upstairs. <laughs> oh, there's somebody. All right. I'm just going to, like, kind of make... Stumble well, kind of stumble, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Grab onto the railing and the walls as I go. <laughs> okay, so two red hands grab either side of the coffin as a figure emerges from inside it. With horns, horns. horns. <laughs> and white hair and white <laughs> eyes. Ah, oh, the hello. Horns? The hello. <laughs> Guten Morgen. Good morning. I'm just going to stay here because you're the only one I can see. <laughs> okay, so uh, what I will say is that um, I will uh, change out my, some of my spells. And uh, let me move this window over to this screen. Sure, go for it. I'm going to keep most of them the same. All right. But uh, I will... Change. What does false life do? It gives you temporary hit points. Ooh, uh, I will get. Uh, let me make sure that I can use this. Hit, temporary hit points don't stack, by the way. Yeah, I will get the uh, replace false life with uh, detect magic. I thought false life was when you automatically knew from grave cleric. I don't think you can replace it. Oh, nice. You're right. Uh, well, in that case, I will get rid of Shield of Faith. Okay. So, I'm going to add, uh, the Detect Magic. Scheiße! Sorry, ignore that. Detect or Identify? Uh, detect oh, just... that's right. Do you have Identify? I believe I do. I fucking hope I do. I think it's a wizard and sorcery thing. I don't know if it's a cleric thing. Now, seeing as this is technically the first time this will actually come up in a relevant way. Sure. Uh, the mage armor short rest thing is something I'm pro doing, but actually in a dungeon I'd have to convince the party, or, or this would be our time while we're rolling these identify. Is that something everybody is okay with? What do you mean? So, I get my spells back when I short the rest. Yeah. And I can cast a spell that lasts for eight hours, but I can only cast two spells. So I normally cast the spell, and then I short rest for an hour, and then I actually get up, essentially. Oh, Scheisse. I do not okay. have Identify. So, I'm asking if while we if we can faff about in this dungeon for about an hour after we wake up making breakfast, if everyone's down with that and, and stuff. Yeah, go for it. 
Yeah, you wake up, have I'm an hour of yeah, so we're doing, yeah, right, it's, it's nice. <laughs> it is a pleasant experience for us all. <laughs> but I will say last okay, night... Okay, so... I don't want that. So last night, um, Hans was attuning to the wand, right? And Ariel, you were attuning to, attuning yeah. to the necklace? Yes. Okay. Then I will tell you both what they both do. Uh, actually, you know, I'm just going to say it to make it easier. Uh, Hans, the wand seems to let you cast the spell web a number of times. And it also counts as an oh. spellcasting focus. Rundeva. The necklace is more unique. You don't get the full scope of what it can do. Um, I have to pull it up because it's, it's very strange. And for the record, I didn't make this up. This thing is an actual thing. Of course. So I already described what it looked like. An obsidian-shaped screaming humanoid skull with ruby eyes and uh, emerald teeth. Um, the amulet has a number of charges. Uh, also, you know it has six charges and regains some at dawn. While you wear the action and you're tuned to it, you can spend an action to transport yourself and anything you are wearing to a location within 50 feet of you. Oh. So that's great for stealthy nuts. Very good. The destination you choose doesn't need to be in your line of sight, but it must be familiar to you. In other words, you have seen there or been there. And it must be on the same plane of existence. Uh, you do know that there is a side effect if you are not undead. You have to make a constitution saving throw or have a random effect afflict you. Oh, fuck. I will say, for the random effects, just to be nice to you guys, the first, let's say, five times you use the necklace, I will veto the worst case one, which is there's a 4% chance of something really, really bad happening. The other ones are uh, all livable things for you guys to deal with and handle. And there's okay. one. There, do not use it that six way. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. 96 to 100 is the really terrible one. So it's only a 4 out of a D100 chance of getting it. And you have to already fail the top save. I think it's pretty bad, right? I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't remember exactly what it is, but it is, it is pretty bad. It's really bad. Yeah. But the other ones are you know, all stuff you, know, you guys could handle. Uh, sounds good to me. I mean, depending on the payoff of what we would need it for, it sounds like it could really come in handy. So I'm going to, I mean, I don't know where you guys are, but I'm going to at least tell Hans. <laughs> so I think this necklace uh, just allows me to transport different places. I think it's dope. Uh, you can try it. Go for it. Oh, you know, God. But I had to make a god save. You can try to teleport. So that's why I had to look at when you asked them if it was cursed, because technically it's not cursed. It's just if you're not undead, it has a side effect. Oh, wait. <laughs> Okay. Like I said, I'm already vetoing the worst case one, so it's nothing that's going to threaten your character outright. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so I would just say uh, I want to get rid of Continual Flame, and I'm going to put on Detect Traps. Okay. Just to make it easier, Good I one. would just write uh, Not Prepared in front of the different spells you're not using currently, so that way you yeah. don't have to delete them. Yeah. Um, also, I might re-prepare trap, uh, look for traps or whatever, because it's less useful than you'd think. Shaisa. Okay. Uh, with that, uh, is there anything else? Uh, I assume you guys wake up, start start the fire again, start making breakfast, give stuff a chance to rest. <coughs> from Yes, I can do restful activities like drink tea. <laughs> Drinking tea. Do I see you guys? Can I see them? Yep, they start relighting the fire to make breakfast and everything. So you can now see within okay, 30 to then... 50 feet around the fire. Uh, I'll I, start yeah. and I'll just kind of stand back with them. I will light the fire after I cast the light cantrip so I, I can see what I'm doing because I'm not <laughs> very adept at this. <laughs> so yeah, you guys can talk uh, amongst yourselves, do whatever you want. It's up to you. Like we, it was quite. A Do we move? 
How was how was your sleep? Oh, oh it was perfect. I, I will take was this one instead. Best sleep of my life, man. It was like I was dead. Damn it! I'm sorry. I keep oh, pressing no. the wrong thing. He's trying to observe one and two. I had. I slept well as well. I, I, but for a brief interruption, when our friends, uh, what were their names again? Uh, Cheech and Chong. <laughs> yes, them. Uh, Cheech and Chong. Uh, we they tried to make entrance during the night, but decided that they did not want to. Are they still wandering around? They most likely are. Which is helpful, because any other of these kobolds that we run across, or that cross their paths, we do not have to deal with. Don't they just walk by them? Uh, not if they're attacking them. Probably. Maybe, yeah. I mean, w wouldn't you? I guess, yeah. I mean, I would, personally, but I don't know about the undead semi-conscious... You lie. You did not attack them. You chose to make friends with them. <laughs> they are not our friends. They are just useful idiots. So, what's our plan for the day? What? Yeah. <laughs> where, where do we go? Uh, we should... Uh, we have not discovered everything there is to know. For example... What is behind these doors? Yes. I, well, I, was... I fucked up. I fucked up big time. Oh, God damn it. I hate myself right now. Oh, no. What? Uh, oh, God. I'm going I'm to point, I'm gonna point at the amulet, I guess, first and be like, did you discover the properties of that amulet? Oh, I did. Um, so I, I think, it, I mean, it's pretty much what we already saw. I can transport or teleport. That's essentially. A, that is a uh, like, I think device. 50 feet. 50 feet. Wow. That is very yeah. good. You do I do know? So I know that it, like, if I'm undead, it's not very good, right? You, If you know you're, you're undead, every time you use it, you have to make a con saving throw or roll on the random table to see what yeah. happens. Okay, so this is what I messed up. I messed up something very important earlier. When the vampire stabbed herself in the chest with the stake, yes. you all heard an eerie sound coming from all around you. The echoes oh. of that fight are coming to haunt me in this moment. Oh my the God. fuck? I do not know how I slept with these. I probably plugged my ears. <laughs> uh, I was so tired that I did not even notice. Do you guys hear this? It oh, started yes. out very loud and got quieter and quieter until it was gone. I, I pull out... Um, I've been reminiscing about it, and I will pull out <laughs> my glass bottle filled with vampire ashes. And I'm looking at it. I'm think, reminiscing about it. Like, what do you she... think that meant? Ah... I'm, I'm sure whoever was her patron is not pleased that she had to sacrifice herself. They really are. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it back. And that she also died. I mean, like, not died, but, like, failed him. Uh, yes. I, I expect the fact <laughs> that she killed herself after would also really uh, shook his bones, as it were. What the, uh, having to kill yourself is such a failure as a, as a mean. And that was, I don't know. Anyway. I put that away. I, I suspect that we might have to, uh, that this voice, if we follow these voice, we may find the true secrets of this temple. Do we know where the voice you. came from? Like, I mean, it came from all around. It sounded oh. like it's echoing from the walls it's themselves. Ugh. Oh. Then uh, I have no idea, uh, but I'm gonna stare at this big door behind me. That looks like a door. Do we want to start with that? The it one is... that you're pointing to. I mean, that is a pretty door. Mm. I, uh, it looks my mostly undisturbed by them. I was, uh, I will go <laughs> to this other door that is right there. 
And I wish to take. Uh, I wish to take a. Peek. It's quiet. It's quiet now. You take a peek inside, and you see what looks like three of those rust monsters sleeping. Hmm. I will very quietly close the door. Okay. Also, I I feel like I've heard this voice before. Hmm. You have. In a distant past, I was at some vampire oh, temple oh, randomly. Oh, fairly, fairly old. The uh, <laughs> I just remember hearing it at an old temple. Out of character? Is this, is this Ariok out of character? <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm not saying like with vampires. I do not know about these. Uh, that's totally out of character. We, for the record. Mm, <laughs> yeah, but if I answer that, it, it changes the whole game. This is something that's been on the train. island a long time, and this island is full of the vampires of the um, Legion of Dusk. Uh, right? Like... Let us open the door. Oh, wait, Hans, you're checking out that other door, right? Uh, I want to like quietly tiptoe over to them, and I will say, "There's as more of those creatures, those rust creatures." Hmm. What do you mean? Inside. Oh. Of... They're not hurt enough. <laughs> Excuse me. Inside of that room. You would imagine those would be detrimental to a mining operation. Yeah. We are supposed to clear everything. Is this is true. Can we set them loose. Can they go out? The like out. Surely we can start of them inside of the door. Do I have anything that is area of effects? I don't know. So Amanda does. I don't think so. She has I do. I have the like we can. Nick, um, you, your spirit guardians. I can have us oh, like pass by silently or but, surround but us in fog. the requirement of uh, no a, a spirit shroud. Oh, Mickey's looking. Oh, but do we really need to kill them? They've been behind this door the whole time. They're yeah, not, I, they are not so cute as I think you think they are. <laughs> no, they're not cute by any means. But I mean, they're not, they're not doing anything. Yeah, I do have the... spirit guardians. Yeah. I mean, I guess you could say <laughs> that we, we were hired to get rid of the cobalt. If you want to be particular. I mean, if you want to take care of them, I'll just do it. If you guys want to be particular, the wording was get rid of all the pests that are stopping us from mining. <laughs> we have more than done our share already. <laughs> I mean, we did have to We cannot stop guarantee them. that, that, that we did not get, that we got every worst monster and every nook and cranny. There That's there ridiculous. That wooden door. So, I can't get through a wooden door. I will say is that the uh, vampiric touch is not um, is not prepared. Oh no, wait, no, this uh, I've revivified. That's the one that is not prepared. Uh, it's the other one that is, and I will have in its place be um, spirit guardians. That's a good spell. <laughs> I just read it. It's very fucking good. I just wait till you. Only problem is, uh, for Grave Cleric, Revivify and Vampiric Touch are known. So you can't replace Revivify. You automatically know ah, it. I saw. Okay, so then in that case, uh, you will I mean, that's get... just a bonus. You always have it prepared. Like... <laughs> it's extra and it's free. Yeah. It's I will rid get it. rid of all of bliss. vitality. Uh, let, me, let me read some things. All right. I'll see which one requires components. While well, he's reading he's around... Does anyone else want to look at anything or do anything else in the room? I... Magic um... Circle is the one that is not prepared today. Okay. Can I look around this coffin in case... Is there anything else you may have missed? Uh, no. Around what now? The coffin? I don't know. Up there? Um, yeah. It looks like a kind of a posh area. It looks like she'd set up her own private sleeping quarters. Nice. While she watched over the cobalts. Is uh, is there anything hand that looks like useful? You can make an investigation check. Yay! It worked. Okay. Hey, it's good. 
You find some nice uh, women's clothes. Um, <laughs> you can sell them. A bottle of strange looking perfume? You're not sure? I'm pocketing everything. And a, yes. and a necklace with a large bat insignia on it. That looks oh, very geez, strange. We missed this. I'll add it to my vampire collection. Uh, I'm going to take all these things. So, fine clothes. Woman's clothes. Fine ladies' clothes. Yeah, I, I'm, I, don't, I don't... No discrimination. Look. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I'm not gonna wear it. I don't wear it. Somebody. I mean, I wear a dress made out of Kraken tentacle leathers, but it, you this guys just joke doesn't now. But style. there is a magic item that I'm waiting to drop that is meant for women that I'm pretty sure one of the dudes is gonna want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, actually, it was more relevant to the other one because you guys are more prepared Fine. for water. But last, before in the previous life, there was a magic item someone proposed that had online that was a magical bikini that gave you the ability <laughs> to swim really well in water. And I was like, oh, well, Eric could really use that. <laughs> <laughs> Eric had big enough pecs, it would have worked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I was waiting for the day that Eric was going to go swimming uh, in a bikini. <laughs> it's like a little banana hammock. Yeah. <laughs> Fine ladies clothes, amulet of the bat, I'm the middle two. Bungee um, smugglers. A strange perfume. Nice. Strange vampire perfume. This will be useful. <laughs> Eventually. I good adjective. I will keep the ones that I have, the spells, uh, most of them. Uh, but I have added prayer of healing as well as uh, spirit guardians to Sounds the nice. uh, spell list. Okay. Is there anything else you guys want to do while you're shelling here? Mm, no, I'm good to keep going. Uh, yeah. I think that we should probably kill these one things. Yeah. All right. If you want to, <laughs> we're all very reluctant. Yes, it's sir. early morning. All right. Is everyone agreeing to it or not? I mean, I, 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 uh, look. It, it, I mean, the job is the job. The wooden door. I can't get through a wooden door. Yeah, but that's not the principle of the matter. All right, all right, all right. Well, let's do it. Just do it. We'll get it over with, right, and then we can walk. If Look, everyone never... agrees to it, then I'm gonna I'm gonna make you guys roll. You annihilate them. We destroy. Oh no! We just we just we just bust. <laughs> all right, we walk back out. <laughs> we, we... You guys do like SWAT team on like, Bust let's... open the door and start shooting Elder's blasts and <laughs> told the dead, uh, 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 arrows flying and fists going. <laughs> It's not well, do we need to look behind door number two? Are they behind the other door too? I have not taken a look at that one. Oh shit, everything just went dark. Well, let's just take a quick look. Oh, while we're up here. Can you not see Michael? Right. No, no, everything's good. Okay, I'll be in the back. Dark. I'm gonna gently peer open the door just to see if they're in there. Michael, I'm still finding drawn squares on the map. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I mean, you know, surprises. <laughs> All right, same thing happens again. You guys see a bunch of, uh, of the same insectoids. Do you guys do the same SWAT team exercise? Yeah. <laughs> Seal team yeah. move. Go, go, go. <laughs> Blow the shit out of them. I see anything in the room besides the rust monsters? A pile like, is there anything that they were metal? eating? A pile of rusted metal. Okay. That's it? Okay. I feel like evermore the exterminator. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, the only ones who went to the top left corner uh, are uh, Hans and Seth, unless you guys shared it with the others. I mean, I probably told... Hello? Told them about... Okay. Sorry, you cut up for a second. Tell us what? The... I, oh, okay, yeah, well, we could have done this, we could do this now. Like, I, I found I, I found this bottle inside of the workshop, and I'm going to take out the bottle. And I'm going to be like, it contains the essence of fire. I do not know how they manage oh. this. <laughs> but if, uh, let's just say you do not want to drink this. 
Yeah, uh, no, good to know. Is it, it's inside like a little crystal flask thing, right? Yeah, it's a flask. Yeah, I'll be like, oh, like it is. It is interesting. They, I'd one. They are. They are. They are slightly more advanced than the others of their kind I've encountered in the past. Those would be lucky to get. Yeah, they have organs on sticks. The group, <laughs> the group from my home would be lucky to start the fire. Not the cat, yeah, or even catch a scorpion. They were much more likely to have been stung. Yeah, I get that. I understand that. See. All right, are we done investigating? Yes, I, I see a little. Are we going through this door? I say let's go through the top door. It looks cool. All right, also, before we go on, are my shoes lit up? Uh, or no? <laughs> I will I will light one of the shoes. Okay. We, hey. I'll light the, the other one. <laughs> hey, guys. I love my magical shoes. <laughs> uh, we'll do... Uh, I'm going to do it in blue. It's going to be blue today. I I'm will do, do red. Like, happy, happy trot. I will do red. So and we'll, I'm gonna... she, she will be uh, the police. We will, <laughs> we will make it blink every yeah, like second. Yeah, she you should do this before you bust it and they kill the uh, insects. <laughs> I'm gonna push. We we'll we'll open up the now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> I love the image of that. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh man. Let's All right. Um, let's, the... Am I going first? Uh, do you have this kick in the door? Yeah. This door looks sure, old gonna... and dusty. It looks like it has not been opened. Oh. In a very long time. Sounds like the perfect. So kick it down. It's up to you. All right, sure, I'll kick it down. Okay, you kick it open, and it shakes a little bit, but it's really stuck in there. It's going to take a good athletics check to force it open if that's what you do. Uh, I will give assistance. <laughs> okay. Let's see that muscle of the uh, monk. That's that right. Yeah, she would have an advantage. An advantage athletics check. Just cheering you. That's um, good. The, the first one was good. <laughs> 18 is enough to you. Push open the door as the dust starts falling all around you. And inside you see the room is caked in dust and debris from the ceiling. It looks like this was once a storage room, but anything that was in here long since expired. Part to disuse. <laughs> that's, a, that's a dusty room, guys. Oh, yeah. Alright, so nothing we need. What's about this door here? It looks similar. It looks like it has not been opened. It looks like the cobalts might have tried, but this door did not. It doesn't look like they got it open. I'm going to kick it I open will, again. I will give assistance. Okay. Make another athletics check. It is not uh, I had to go twice. I Dang. will give her on this time. Uh, I will... Ah, fuck Guidance? Yeah, I want to make sure that that's the right one. Yeah, D4. Uh, yes, I will give her guidance. Sure, add a D4, roll a D4 for her. Yeah. But yeah. I tried. Oh. It still doesn't budge, unfortunately. You did try. Alright, um. The door is firmly stuck in place. Does anybody have an axe? <laughs> I have my mi mm. It looks like I don't a know mixture I... of stone and metal. I don't know if I want to cast spiritual weapon to cut it to break stone it down. Stone and metal. It looks to be a very sturdy looking door. Mm. What if we all work together? I mean, you guys can I mean yeah, we can try that. Out. Work. What, how, how, how do you suggest we do that? And I will give guidance to all. You can only do one at a time. It's concentration. Dude, you're helping us. <laughs> the guidance. What's the plan? Uh, I mean, if we count to like three or something, I don't know. We all hit it at once. <laughs> yeah. 
I gotta look up door stats now. I gotta blow this door <laughs> out while I'm hearing. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing too, so I gotta look up I'm stats for buildings. <laughs> <clears throat> I am the that they're main stats or not. Oh, there are. It's just difficult to find them. Oh. It's not anywhere easy to find. <laughs> I'm holding my yeah. my ice rod in my hand. My pentacle rod. How much does one of those stones weigh? Is it? I guess it's more than five pounds, huh? What stones? Probably. You said it's made of stone and wood or whatever. Yeah, you know? but you don't know how thick. Stone and uh, metal. Make, mm -hmm. Pull out, pull out, pull out all the rocks and <laughs> watch the door crumble. Well, I have a gust that can move like an object of less than five pounds. This looks a lot more than five pounds. Yeah. I mean, I can change the terrain, but that's about it. I have no spells. Mm, I don't have anything that's cool either. Is it metal? The only metal? thing that I have is spiritual weapon, but I really... <laughs> Metal and I only stone. have three of those a day. Uh, and I'm just going to put this out there since you guys are talking about blowing up the door. Objects are immune to psychic damage and I think uh, I don't remember the other one. I think it was like poison? Poison, poison yeah. <laughs> uh, let me, I'm ready to start shooting the door. Just because that sounds like where you guys were heading, just so you guys are aware. <laughs> I mean, you guys could also just not blow up the door. It's up to you. <laughs> if we are blowing up the uh, door, I, I, will, I will begin blasting the door as soon as we are ready for our combined attack. I'm going to do yeah, some I mean, I guess fake, let's... fake kung fu moves. Let's do it. <laughs> you want to learn some kung fu? I got you. I will... <laughs> I'm going to go like a circle. Fuck it. I will cast spiritual right. weapon to try to break down the door. <laughs> All Attack! Right. <laughs> you something good. You guys might be disappointed. <laughs> all right, roll for spiritual weapon oh, and all your attacks. Go for it. <laughs> Schrodinger's door, baby. Yeah, I know. Go for it. That's ah. enough. <laughs> it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, unfortunately. Uh, I, I double pressed uh, my back accident, so just the oh, first. blast seems to just bounce off the door. The door itself is very sturdy and strong. Your fist hits the wall, and it, you kind of just hurt your hand a bit. It looks like yeah. the spiritual oh, weapon God. did some damage to the door, but it looks like it's still very much intact. I will uh, do it in one small. Another, another go. Together. Like combo of attacks. <laughs> I rolled an eighteen, but I I don't know. If Wait, are we going? Oh come it? on! Natural <laughs> <laughs> one. There we go. Come the fuck on! Uh, this door. Right, is I guess very I'll, tough. I'll punch again. <laughs> Folk. You quit! You quit! I got a critical! Get a I got a critical. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, based on that, you guys spend the next minute pounding, smashing, and hitting this door as much as possible until finally it gives way. <laughs> and you guys can walk Fuck in you. to yes. a long, dark tunnel. We did it. Fuck that door. Yeah! <laughs> you said You're that this a long, dark tunnel? Yes. Uh, what's um? Describes how long is that this dark tunnel looks uh, like? Ah, well, let me see. If... I can try and get a guess to me it. You guys can't see the end of it. None can of I it? start walking? Do we want to walk down it? It's beyond the sixty foot of dark vision that any of you would have. I say we go. We spent all this effort. <laughs> Let's freaking go. And I will have Hugo following me. Okay. I uh, will see you used a good chunk of the minute, but he's following you for now. <laughs> All right. Is that what everyone's doing, or is anyone staying behind, or what? Um, I'm going. going. I think we should just all go together. Okay. We're all in, baby. In that case, prepare for movement. Yeah, we all spend a good bit of our energy get this. Let me make sure I got out. this right on the map and i didn't fuck up <laughs> so we're gonna beat the fuck out of this door after we're done eating breakfast <laughs> uh it looks like i only partially did this let me put some quick lines on here Oof. sorry all good all right 
I zoomed out way too much. You probably weren't expecting us to be down a door. You know, it was a possibility, but the problem was I did this on the other map, and it was the full map. I didn't redo it on the smaller uh... map to make it easier for you guys to load. Would you be able to load in the other map? I mean, I can, but it seemed like you guys had a lot of issues with that before, so I'm kind of... Uh... Yeah, it should be fine. Don't worry about it. This would just... Yeah, go ahead. I mean... Just take me if you second. want to, I don't mind. Okay, okay. Okay, that should be all that I need to do. Uh, that should be roughly what you need. Okay, I can move you guys over now. So you guys spend a good while slowly walking through. I imagine you're oh, I'm making lines. I'm pulling on Michael. You guys spend your time uh, making perception checks, doing things like that. Until you come out to a large, ornately carved entranceway. And this is what you see. Oh. Mm. Did, did I freeze? Did you? Yeah, no, it's trying to load. Oh, it's not loading? Oh, you guys need to go down. It, the map itself didn't change. Oh, 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 I see now. Down. Oh, okay, just... okay. Sorry, sorry, I should have yeah, yeah. Okay. explained that a bit better. Well, this is interesting. I need to go down a bit. It's a giant face. Uh, that's my mistake, guys. I forgot. It's a huge Do I see, is there, like, any, like, gems or anything in the eyes? Is there anything, like, uh, around the door that... You make a perception check, but the eyes, I will say, are just carved stone that you can see. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm looking for, like traps and stuff like that or anything that would give us clues as to what this doorway is for sure Aha! okay it looks like with your checks that this looks like it was once a heavily used entrance into that other room the other chamber so this looks like it was once a well decorated and carved entranceway to get into that area and into the rest of this place do we recognize what the face is? Is it like a dwarven face? Is it just a regular face? It looks a humanoid face with a large mustache, but it's hard to tell, based on just this much of the face, what race it was intended to be. Hmm. Shall we go in? Well, you guys just came out of it. Oh. Oh, we came out yeah, of the he face. Just, he just puked us up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because okay. there is no uh, walkway between there and where you were. It was just... Yeah, I, I, I take a couple <laughs> steps forward. Sure. Do we want to go on? I think what? there's a path up here. Yeah. And I'm going to get a little bit closer. Um, It looks like it drops off, guys. And I'm going to, like, kind of lightly touch the, the what seems to be a bridge to me with my foot. Lightly. <laughs> like, <laughs> is it stable? Is it not? <laughs> Why don't you test it, looks it out? It's very for... old. And the drop, you can tell, is a, a very tall drop. Roughly 100 feet or more. Do I, can I get a good sense of the bridge? <laughs> is it going to hold us? Like, do I have to go one at a time? I mean, it seems somewhat tough. I'm going to take one step out. Ah! <laughs> <gasps> Am I good? Mind. You good? I'm good. Guys, I'm good. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go back. Oh, shit. So, I don't know if you guys saw. No. There's a stone bridge out there. I don't recommend looking over you... the edge. I've also noticed that there is this thing. And points this out. Oh. What's that? A so ledge? A slight pathway you can take. Oh, I'm going to get closer to it. How wide is the ledge? Less than five feet. You guys have to very carefully walk through the single file. Is there any way I can see maybe tor like through? Like, is it is it going to an opening? Uh, it looks like it goes and it might curve around the corner. It's hard to tell. Okay. Um, I'm going to turn back to the group. What do you guys want to do? Yeah. 
Well, can I uh, roll Arcana to see if that I see anything that is possibly magical in the area? Arcana would be more like if you have something you're trying to tell if it is an arcane symbol or something. If you're just trying to get a feel for anything in the is area the being magical, magical, that's detect I mean, magic. You can see if the bridge has Shit. magic entities or whatever, like a barrier, I don't know. So, uh, you guys, you remember that those undead creeps were talking about trying to find something? Yes. yes. Do you think that maybe this might be what they were trying to find? Could be. It was locked away pretty well, it seems like. Should yeah, they we... took a lot of force. And should, they just we... should we go back and... F- Close the doors to prevent them from coming this way. Oh, or should also, we let them in here? Say, when you guys blew the door, you found out that the door looked like it opened the other way, open into that chamber. But there were no handles or anything oh. on the door to make it so you could pull it open. That would be why it was so tough. Yeah, that explains a lot of things. Yep. So. <sighs> fuck. I think we could at least go along the ledge and then come back to the bridge at least a little bit. I mean, it seems kind of risky. Either way, it seems risky, though. And you are correct. I mean, I'm fine with going. I think across. we can get Cheech and Chong to come in here and they can test out this shit. <laughs> I mean, that's a good point I, too, but I, they're already trying to figure out where they are and stuff, and then we might be helping them out and helping ourselves. Unless whatever they open is a thing of death. And yeah, case, not the really... one. They're already dead. Yeah, but I'm talking about me and you and them. We're all so alive. Them go ahead first, and if something comes out to kill them, we're okay. But what if the purpose is to activate something? Mm, who knows? Maybe it's a good thing. Should we at least follow this uh, beaten, unbeaten path over on the side? We don't go across the bridge. We go along the path, see where it goes. I say if we go along the path. And then while we do that, I mean, we're waiting for Cheech and Chong inevitably. We have no freaking clue where they are. That's true. I mean, is there... I guess we... I don't know. Send them breadcrumbs or something. (laughs) Have an arrow. This way. I mean, I could write an arrow on the wall if you really want with, like, my mold earth or whatever and be like, this way. I would rather they not find this place. Yeah, but I think we're missing something if we don't. I don't know. That's... I mean, I agree. I, we can just take a look, and then we can come back. Or we split up. Are you talking uh, about death? Do not I think guess. that this is a good idea to split up. I, don't... I agree. I don't think it's ever worked out well. Are we going forward? Where's my... What's Are Michael's... We... I say if we go... My yeah. vote is the path around the side, is not the bridge. <laughs> Bless you. I'm just listening to everyone right now. You're listening I'm undecided. Oh, oh, I'm listening to everyone discuss what they're thinking. Well, what are you thinking? I'm thinking there's a there's a pathway right here. And I will not does not involve me shambling over rocks. Alright. So you want to agree? That is my vote. I I That is my vote as well. No, your vote is to go to the side. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what he said that he wants us to do? No, he said forward no. through the bridge. Oh. We're on opposite sides of this. But girl, what is your <laughs> vote? I still like the idea of sending those guys across the bridge, so I guess we'll take the path to the right. That is two for the right, one forward, and one indifferent. So... Majority of rules. Wait, who's indifferent? I am. I'm very indifferent. I really don't care. Okay. I can't decide which way would be the better way. Says the monk who doesn't care about a hundred foot drop. <laughs> yeah. Well, a little bit different if I could run off walls. 
Uh, I mean, it's a five foot ledge. We have to be very careful to go across it, but I mean, the bridge seemed stable when I was on it. Granted, I didn't go out very far, but. And your light is a fucking bed. <laughs> I was like, we, you, uh, you make this way too easy. What? You see, you are practically to the other side already. <laughs> well, then, do you want me to go ahead? By all means. <laughs> right, I'll go a little bit forward first, kind of uh, just slowly testing out the bridge. I was honestly about to ask if you guys want to call it there while you really think about this decision, because it seems like you're having oh. troubles with it. <laughs> I'm, I'm going out on the bridge. I'm, I'm like just kind of casual, like carefully walking across the bridge, testing it out. It seems like it's stable. It's slightly damp and a little... um. Mossy, it looks like some of the waterfall nearby has collected a bit of water over time on here. It caused things to All right, I'm going to shout. I'm going to shout back and be like, guys, it's a little slippery. Just be careful. Watch your step. And I'm going to keep going forward. Okay. It looks Sleep like the buddy. end of this bridge is blocked by a wall. Oh. Do I see, like, what kind of wall? Like, is it rocks? Is it, like, a door? Uh, I'm it's... coming over. <laughs> I made it! I'm gonna shout back. <laughs> is there much the, over there? The very rare push door. Very All the rare others have encountered seems to be pull doors. <laughs> Guys, it's just a big giant door. So how falls? <laughs> there is a large wooden block. Um, you know in olden days how they used to put like a I'm huge piece carefully. of t uh, lumber across the door to block it? To lock it from the inside? <laughs> That's on this side of the door. So it seems like it was an entrance, possibly? Do I see any, like, words or anything that could possibly tell me what, where we are, or whatever? Um, let's see on this door. That, that was absolutely terrifying. <laughs> oh, please. See a carving. You did great. A little bit of that same writing you'd seen before, of local to the island. But among it, you do see a carving of a bat symbol. <laughs> you found the bat cave. Now you all have to die. Wait, we, we, we were in the bat cave the whole time. Uh, speaking of which, you also do all hear uh, some bats above you in the cave, flying around. <laughs> I will. I want to ask uh, uh, Ariel. Um, how how far does that uh, falls look? DM, how far does it look? It looks to be 100 feet or more drop. I, I kind mean, of, 100 feet? You kind, of, you kind of hear my armor as it uh, shutters a little with me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the door looks like a push door. Like, we could just open it. I don't know where it goes. I have no freaking clue. I can't read any of this. Well, you, it looks like you, I you need to push it open. You'd have to remove the board, though. Uh huh. It's not locked or anything. It's just got a huge, heavy piece of lumber there, which from this side is easy enough to lift and move off. I mean, there. It, it, what do you guys want to do? <laughs> well, Hans is not very partial to very tall things, to tall drops. Um. I feel like this is your safer bet, then. It's a wider path. And there are walls on the bridge. Oh, okay. Oh, I did not know that. That changes things. You can see the slight... Uh, I'm not sure if it's visible there or not for you guys, but it's a pretty tall railing. Okay. Oh, I see it now. Now that you pointed it out, yeah. Yeah. I guess that's... I mean, this is should... the super option of the I guess that we should go forward. Do we have Lazura? Yeah, I'm here. I mean, what? I'm. You know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna make us fucking sneaky too. Can I <laughs> please okay. reactivate our little? Sure. You can pass. Are you by us right now? Did you cross the bridge? Or are you? I'm okay with us crossing the bridge. Well, we're already across. All right. Well, I'm going with you. Okay. 
Okay. Um, Hans, can you help me with this log? I will. I you guys, do you want to do that sneaky stuff? What's that? I mean, yeah, do we want to do that first? Yeah, let's be stealth quiet first while we move this. That might be, yeah, that's a good idea. Sure. Are you casting Pass Without a Trace? Yeah. All right. Everyone gets plus 10 to their stealth checks. Go ahead. Stealth. 22. Plus Regular 22. So I get a 32. 32. Do Just pull out. A 23. <laughs> We're doing good. Uh, but I have disadvantage. 17's not bad. Um, let's see. I rolled a 15 plus my stealth, which is a 21 plus 10, so like 31. Nice, way to go, you and I up there. Uh, and uh, how about uh, Seth? Michael, are you with us? Yeah, sorry, I'm a little tired. Uh, we're rolling for stealth yeah. now? Yeah, uh, we decided to be stealthy. Uh, fuck, after I cross the bridge. Yep. <laughs> I do think we should call it somewhat soon. I'm just going to give you a chance to open this door if you want. Yeah, we'll, we'll call it. Um, but I'll say with uh, if Hans gets across the bridge too to help you out, it's easy enough for the two of you to lift the board and move it aside. Yeah. Okay. Such so strength. So you guys come on over there, and I will remove the board. And we can call it there. You guys, you guys can look into it and see more of a cave beyond. Ooh. Huh. Mm. Interessante. It just looks like more pathways. <laughs> but for now, we'll call it there, and you guys can continue next week. Yeah, yeah awesome. Awesome. Move a little closer. We beat down a door, you guys. Not just any <laughs> door, a whole door. <laughs> you guys are having fun with doors. <laughs> uh, that's why I, I'm, I need to take a level of ranger get that preferred enemy. <laughs> preferred enemy door. <laughs> <laughs> doors. I always, I always come crashing in. I I never do anything besides crash through doors. Will be how I hope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what works next week? 